And we are live. Welcome back, everyone, to another live stream. How is it going? It is Eric from Eric's World here, back with another live stream. And I was hoping to do something different with this live stream, but I guess I can't. Um, I was going to have, like, two streams go on, but I guess I'm not, that's not possible. I ha have to pay, I think, $20 a month in order to make that happen, so that's not happening right now. Um, that's... Uh, a little too much though i did gamble this weekend so i spent more than twenty dollars um gambling so that sucks but i've made money so that's decent enough but um yeah let's see i'm gonna get ready for the mock building here in a minute just gonna get my computer all set up pretty much um, let's see what we got here empty this out okay all right. Hey, Legal Freak, Nerdbrick, how's it going? Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. All right. Um, I don't think I need anything else over here. I just need my phone. Grab the computer, so it's going to go blank for a second, uh, but I should be back in a second, hopefully. Hopefully it's back now. Um, let's see. Thanks for tuning in earlier. Yeah, no problem, man. So I was having dinner. Um, I had to leave because I had had to help the uh, babies finish up their food or something. I think that's what I was doing at the time, but then they wouldn't finish it, so I had to chase after them, so I had to leave. So sorry about that. I think I saw uh, Jet Pryor came in there. And, man, I haven't seen him in a while, and uh, he, wanted, um, he wants me to update him on my – my life of what's going on. It's a little weird. <laughs> Why not come on the stream so you can see what's going on or something like that? It's uh, a little weird. We've had issues with him in the past. Hopefully it was a good, uh, um, whatever you call it, uh, viewer came in and such. I'm gonna grab my chair real quick. I'll be back in a second. Weave and bob through all this stuff. Kind of have a mess on the floor over here. I'll show you real quick. I need to finish sorting all that. It's a, a mess. Oh, Andrew's here. Let's see. Welcome, Andrew. How's it going, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. That is good. A little, a little tired, but other than that, I'm fine. <laughs> so you did a video on um, Godzilla. Those yeah. I am ex super excited for that movie, man. <laughs> yeah, I know, same. No, wait. It's gonna March 26th. I'm going. Six, really? That's one of those? Yeah, that's really close. Yeah, that's awesome. Welcome, uh, uh, Jeff. How's it going? Uh, very important question. Did you watch The Prestige yet? I did not. <laughs> All right, well, actually, I have a good excuse for that. One of my professors hit me the like on Saturday morning. And was like, you know what you need to do for class? Like, your first day of class is Wednesday. You need to read a 324-page book. Jeez. So instead of actually reading the book, of course, I listened to the audio book. But I literally finished it 25 minutes ago. And then, wow, that sucks. But uh, 11 but hours. 11-hour audio book. Eric, you have Hulu, right? Yeah, I do. Uh, the Prestige is on Hulu until February 1st. Oh wow! So just a couple days. Yeah, we got anything. a couple days to watch. It's going to Amazon Prime after that, though I think. Oh okay. I'll just wait for Amazon Prime then. Come on, watch it on Hulu. <laughs> you can. I'll I'm try. not one hundred percent sure that it's going to Prime. I could be wrong. I'll try. I forget what what was it. BFAB said that it was like gay uh, magicians or whatever, right? Or no, uh, he, said, he said the B word. That's it. <laughs> That was fun. <laughs> Let's see. You're good, man. My man. Uh, yeah, Jet, Jet hopped on in the last stream, too. Oh, like in the comments? Wow. That's crazy. Let's see. So, I finally start work on Wednesday. I'm super excited to finally get my life back because uh, not having a job sucks. Mm -hmm. I can bet. I am just, I'm just sitting here waiting for, because tomorrow's the first day of school, so I kind of, 
it, it's it's annoying because one of my professors, like the one that's first thing in the morning, hasn't sent out a damn thing about what's going on with the class. <laughs> We're having like a like a like a call or something or yeah, nothing. I had classes today. That sucks. <laughs> Well, congratulations for being back in class, uh, Jeff. How's it going? I mean, it was the first day, so mm -hmm. all I could talk about syllabus is. Oh, so it was an easy day then? Is that what you're saying? Perfect, yeah. That's good. How many classes you got left? Uh, what do you mean? Like, how many credit hours do you have left until you graduate? Uh, I don't know exactly. It's uh, three semesters, though. Uh, three yeah, semesters. it's the same for me. Let me check. I can actually check my school website hours. and get that down. 45 credit hours then? I believe for me it's for me it's slightly less because I think that I had a couple of classes already done going into it. So oh, wow. I think I have I think I'll have 15 credits the next two semesters and then a nine credit semester or something. I don't know. So wait, you'll have your bachelor in three semesters? Yes. Yes? Wow. We have a bachelor in here, almost. <laughs> and Lego Andrew, you're almost there too, right? Three yeah, semesters. I'm. I'm. I'm going to check it right now. It's three semesters, but it's not. I don't exactly know how much. Um. How many uh, credits? But it's. I. It's less than forty-five. Gotcha. It's less than forty-five. Yeah, I should have three and a half if I include uh, the summer course. More than likely. I'm going to try and do full time during the summer. And then uh, I don't know about 15 credit hours for uh, um, the fall or spring. Was it for all fall? Uh, I don't know. I'll try. Yeah, that's the recommended if you're um, trying to graduate in four years, if you're doing like the regular 120 bachelors. But uh, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult yeah. to say the least. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Especially if you're trying to work or whatever. Like, I basically had to set it up where I work two to three days a week. And just... <laughs> yeah. <stuck. laughs> yeah, I'm going to be working three days a week, but pretty much on the week weekend, so that'll be better. But uh, also, it's full-time, so it's going to be like full-time, then school. So hopefully, I will be able to get it working well enough for it all to uh, work out, I guess. Uh, let's see. All right, there's my bricks. There's my brick separator. I don't have work until Saturday unless I have duty. They found me out. They found me out, what? Uh, that I didn't have duty section. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? What's going on here, Bricks? Did you hear that they delayed Ghostbusters Afterlife again? I'm sad. Oh wow! What was what, that movie what? supposed to be? Is it was it a sequel to the female Ghostbusters? No, or? no, no. It's a sequel, sequel to, to the Ghostbusters too. Oh, yeah, the OG. Interesting. Uh, I didn't even know about that. I literally saw like one poster and went, "Okay, Ghostbusters," but I didn't know anything about it. I plan on uh, getting my bachelor's to become a pilot. I if I have to graduate in less than three. Uh, it's uh, a bad thing. I've held out for four months. Yeah, I think the basic premise is that the main characters are Egon's grandkids or something, but we don't really know for sure. Okay. Yeah. I think They're so. someone's grandkids, though. <laughs> Someone had babies. That's, that's all we know. So yeah, I messed up the mount piece. Um, I looked back on uh, Attack on Titan episode one. And I was like, oh my gosh, the mountain does not look like that at all. It's only like three bricks tall, pretty much. So I took it down so I can quickly add this smaller layer to it. And hopefully it works out and such. But um, I, I thought it looked decent with uh, you know, the mountain parts right next to it. But I want to go as accurate as possible. So that's... That's why I'm doing this, I guess, now, sadly. Uh, let's see. Being on duty is spending 24 hours on the ship and standing watch. Wow. Sorry, man. <laughs> I never like uh, What? That sounds like fun. 
Oh yeah, definitely. So much fun. He he could probably plus. How much fun is a nerd brick? Tell us. <laughs> I, I got another movie question for you, Andrew. Have you ever heard of the movie Whiplash? I think you can prep it up. Is that the one with the band? Uh jazz band? Yeah. Yeah. I did watch it. Uh, what do you think? Do you remember it? Um, so I don't think I finished the movie because I watched it in college actually. Um, I thought it was really good, especially like he got into the car accident and then he was still like so dedicated that he came there all like beaten up and bruised. And trying I don't understand to understand how you could not finish that movie. <laughs> it's mainly because I was in class and they were just like, all right, moving on to the next thing. I'm like, what? Well, but we didn't finish the movie though. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should go finish it. Go watch it. I would strongly recommend it. I watched that movie this week. That's why I asked. <laughs> Let's see. Being on duty. Oh, here you, here you said that. Uh, yeah, next week I'm going to be active for like four days. That sucks. Next Wednesday, mm -hmm. I have to travel to Pittsburgh and start Thursday to Sunday. Because I have uh, my drill weekend is next week. Or not this weekend, the following weekend. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I had to make up for this past month since I was down in Georgia. That sucks. But, you know, $400 for four days of work, that's not too bad. So that's going to be decent. But uh, start work this week for um, Target. So it's a little hectic. I wish I started it last week, but it's all good. Finally get started. Legion, how's it going, man? What's up, guys? What's up, man? see oh so i found out string yard is actually 20 dollars a month if you pay annually so that's like um wait is it even more if you don't yeah it's 25 25 if you pay monthly. holy shit so if you want to pay it as a lump sum that's like 160 i think you could have hopped on their black friday deal you could have been on a ten dollars a month plan forever oh I'll wait until next Black Friday then. <laughs> no, they said they're not doing it again. They said that was your only chance. Uh, why do they do this? But no, that's not a. That's not 160. That's uh, that's 240, I think. Yeah, what? 240 for the whole year. Twenty dollars a month. Uh, twelve months. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, no Legion. I'm in the Air Force. I I I'm in the sky, not not in the sea. <laughs> Not really. I, I don't even go in the sky. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I got that going. But uh, yeah, so I was trying to see if I could uh, uh, stream on Twitch and here at the same time, but I got to have the premium, supposedly, in order to do that. So that sucks. They want so much money out of us. It's ridiculous. One more. Put that there. Oh, did you watch the next episode of WandaVision? Say so what? What? What did you say? Did you watch the next episode of WandaVision, episode three? I have not even finished episode one. No, was it because you got bored of it after three minutes, like me, Fab? I think it lasted nine minutes. Whenever he was starting to talk to his boss, uh, I was like, uh, peace out. <laughs> so you, you didn't like it either? Uh, I'll try and watch it, uh, maybe listen to it in the background. So yeah, like, for, for for me, expect, the third episode is starting to make everything move. It moves better. Like it's one of those shows that's definitely getting better as it goes. The first episode was dreadful. The second episode was tolerable. The third episode was tolerable again. And, but it was like, I kept glancing down at my phone, scrolling through Instagram, and then they mentioned something. And like at the end, I was just like, oh, yay, flashback to Avengers Age of Ultron. And <laughs> like, oh, I know what they're talking about right now. And then it ends, and I'm just like, all right, let's move the story on. Let's see where this is going. Because there is a lot of buildup for, frankly, hopefully something but the fact they wasted three episodes on this kind of build-up i'm like mm, you could have gotten that done with 
if we were literally just given the third episode, you could honestly start on episode three and wouldn't miss a damn thing. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, dude, I don't, I don't know if there's anything in episode one or two that is redeemable, like on rewatch or something. That's just my thought. Oh, there's me, Feb. What's hey. Up? Hey. Yeah. What's popping? Wow. What are you? Uh, what's his name? Jack Harlow. Jack. Jack Harlow. What about him? What? So what's popping? Oh. Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options right now. That's a- yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I hated that. I hated that song until they got the remix because I like the remix versus better than. I, think I mean, Jack I like Carlo one popping, but I like the. I do like the remixes way better, but I do like both mm-hmm. versions. Uh, that was funny, Andrew. You put your music thing in there, and then I'm just like, <laughs> you like do better, and then I'm just like. <laughs> Uh, I was like, I hope he knows I'm joking. Yeah, no, no, it's it's perfect, but it was funny because I was just like, wow. <laughs> I was like, damn, he really came at my neck like <laughs> <laughs> caught me lacking. Uh, yeah, I was just like, you know, like when I said that it was like shit or something, I was just like, like okay, you're a pity or something. <laughs> yeah, like, no. I said I'll, you said wow or something like the- that. I'll read the I'm, thing for my the chat. I said, I said, check out my new hit song, and I send the link. Bfab, this song sucked. Added me so it would pop up as a notification <laughs> on my phone. I said, make better than. He said, I'll record myself shitting. <laughs> I'm just like, wow. <laughs> I was just at that point. I was laughing to myself. I'm like, damn, I can't come back from that. <laughs> he married me. <laughs> <laughs> this one. <laughs> it was one of those days, like you know, like you're those days where it's like in a, like kind of like a witty mood or whatever. Yep. That was one of those days. So I was at work reading that shit. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> it's brutal. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, someone's getting a phone call. Let's see, that's cool. Is he a comic medic or just some uh, course man? Yeah, because my brother is a course man. Oh, nice. That's cool. Oh, what is it? Um, did He's you see? Uh, did you see the new episode of Attack on Titan, Eric? Yes, uh, it was awesome. Yeah, that was one of the fun, like, in my opinion, one of the most like action-packed, intense episodes of the show. Yes, definitely. Super happy that they finally gave us some action, but it's so short. It goes by so fast. Oh yeah, everything. See, the thing is, I feel it made sense. Like, it built up. It showed us everything before. I'm perfectly fine with the slow start because of how it's turned out. And that's what I'm hoping happens with WandaVision. I'm hoping they manage to do some crazy shit. Because right now, that's kind of how I bet people who don't really care about Attack on Titan felt about the beginning of the fourth season. They went through four episodes of nothing happening. And now we have two or three episodes of just, yeah, like, four episodes of exposition. And then... Two episodes of just absolute banger. <laughs> like crazy. Did, have you watched the Clone Wars, Andrew? I have. Uh, so you saw season seven, right? I have. It, it's, it, it's kind of similar to season mm-hmm. seven. With the four episodes with like the, what their names, the Mendes sisters I, I like the or Bad something. Badge episodes a lot. Oh, the Bad honest. Badge episodes are fine. It was the four in the middle that were like. Mm. Honestly, I don't even mind those, but there they was, weren't. The, like the one. last four episodes are so much better than oh, yeah. probably any other episode of the show. There was one little group of episodes. There was one episode there that I particularly didn't care about because they started it in a jail cell and then they ended it in a jail cell. Like they made yeah. no progress. And I'm just like, that episode could have been thrown out the window. Like <laughs> unnecessary. <laughs> so Eric, how's your Mario short doing? Uh, it's not good at all. <laughs> I, I didn't uh, make the effort into it. I only built this. It has nothing to do with effort. The biggest Mario shorts on YouTube are shit, so there's no effort put in any of it. Yeah, I thought I'd just try, you know, see how I can do. Yeah, it's not about effort. It's basically about luck. Maybe you also put like hashtag Mario, hashtag small penis, like all that stuff in my blog. No, oh, definitely. Uh, the small penis part, that would definitely Yeah, be. yeah. That's how I blew up. <laughs> the girl's like, oh my god, that's so small. I'm like, yeah, and? You bitch. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. So, so 
So, talking about penises, Andrew. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, Leave Andrew alone. Great. <laughs> it's not about size. It's about personality. But I can fuck a girl with my personality. Did you listen right. to the song about like all that that stuff? I don't know what you had it called as, but the song that you made. That Andrew made where he's screaming into a microphone for 20 minutes? <laughs> yeah. It was actually like 45 seconds before the next person's verse started. It felt like 20 minutes. <laughs> hey, it's the best 20 minutes of your goddamn life. Nah. <laughs> that was fire. fire. No. Granny porn is the best. Oh, no. 20 oh, minutes was- of that. I wanted it to be longer. I'm like, why is this ending so short? I had to put it on, you know, replay. So, oh my gosh. jeez, Eric, don't act like you don't watch that shit. Wait, KFC is releasing a game console? Huh? KFC is releasing a video game console. Well, that's crazy. Wasn't Kanye <laughs> supposed to release one too? Soldier Boy did release one. Oh, Soldier Boy, yeah, him. Which, whichever of those ones, yeah. Oh, any more Lego news? We're getting castle sets yet? No, castle sucks. So, yeah, I could hear out of your responses on uh, Yesta's uh, stream. I was like, "Come on, be fat, <laughs> jeez." Well, and then also, yes, it doesn't respond to the chat. I understand, but he has a, kind of like a podcast form, and I'm just like, I just shared this on my community stream. I'm not going to ignore the people. So I'm just like responding and like ty- typing out while trying to chat with everyone, you know, so. Yeah, I was like, man, he's not responding to anyone. And then I was like, oh, I got to go. But Fifa, thank you, man, for responding. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, I understand why he's doing it. It's like a podcast style, right? So if, yeah. I, if I did a podcast and it was live, I probably wouldn't respond to people either because you're you're trying to, like, stay on a, a topic you're trying to be very professional so i understand like what he was doing so but i'm just like nah, I share this on my community tab my audience is gonna think i'm an asshole ignoring them so i'm just gonna like every, i'm just gonna respond to everyone so <laughs> well that was cool Good lego freak uh you should watch yesta's latest podcast once this is over go to the timestamp timestamp what's on the timestamp i i mentioned lego freak oh the bestest friends. In a very offensive way. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, but that's awesome, Lego Freak. Uh, physical. That's fantastic, man. I I probably have my physical in uh, March, so I got to get ready for that. Good thing I finally have a job, a physical job. It'll get me physically fit again. Ha, oh, I don't want to chat. I don't want. I want people to watch it after without feeling alienated. But beef ever fun. The chat was great. Well, what's the timestamp? Go to the the video and click on the timestamp, and then come back and tell me what you think. <laughs> He's gonna hate me. Yeah, I'm guessing something offensive. <laughs> it was very offensive. I'd be offended. Welcome, Yessa. By the way, thank you so much for coming. What else did you guys talk in there? Was there something special coming out sometime soon? We talked about sex. It was really awkward. So, <laughs> okay, cheesy Esther. Um, <laughs> pretty sure he's underage. So I don't think you talked about that. No, no. I'm just like I want to bang this woman and this woman and this woman and this woman. Um, that was the whole podcast. So, oh, so you brought up your Tinder profile and we're like. I don't have any matches. Why do I keep getting matches with the ugly girls, okay? I thought it was a two, not a one, you know, so. <laughs> it, it really sucks when the girls actually look like men. I'm just like, I might as well fuck a hot guy or something, you know? Oh, my God. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, I matched with this guy named, like, Alakandi. He was, like, African, you know, like, the six-pack. When I say I matched with him, I, you go for only females, and then for some reason, when I say match, like, Tinder Gold allows you to see people who match with you, and I don't know why, on Tinder, when you say looking for women, for some reason, a guy ends up swiping right on your profile. And I'm just like, what the hell? So, Alakandi, Alatinji, if you're out there, um, you have a nice six-pack. You look better than half the women on there. And I'm getting desperate. 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I could have screenshotted his name was like Olakanji or and Olakanji or like it was the weirdest name out there. And this dude's like this jack, like really dark skin, like African dude. Has nothing to do with it. I'm just mentioning it kind of like to put this picture in your mind, right? It's and fun. I'm like, the fuck. So. Isn't that like KSI, KSI, Lil Latunji, or whatever the fuck? I, I think maybe I'm just saying all Latunji because I watch a lot of KSI videos, but it's like, it's <laughs> a really neat name. It started with an O, it's like Onjolate or something. I don't know what it was. Onjolate. <laughs> and I'm just like, and like I, I'm looking at it because you can view your Tinder gold people that like swipe right on you, and I'm just like, dang, this guy is jacked. And I'm like, where are the women? And then I look at them I'm like, okay, she's hot, but she has two kids. She's ugly. She's ugly. Oh my god, she's fat, but not ugly. There's potential. She's really fat. D- d- these girls are gonna crush me to death for fuck's sake, you know? So yeah, that's literally Tinder for you. Uh, Objectifying yeah. women. It's a horrible thing. <laughs> Treat them for their personality because they totally do the same when it comes to you. They actually don't. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> interesting. Wait, Eric, you know what I'm talking about. Women don't look at personality. They look at your penis size or your face. I don't think you can post that on Tinder, but the face, yes. You, you could. Yeah. And I'm just like, women, women, come on. Reddit said I was hot. <laughs> Should we gamble live? Does it look like I have money, Eric? <laughs> I'll give you uh, one uh, half of my pubic hairs. Uh, what, what do you think? <laughs> Only oh, half of them. Really That's a deal breaker. I mean, the whole thing would be like putting Chewbacca's like face in your mouth. Uh, you know? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> <So> nasty. <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> I yeah, that. one seventeen Legion in the chat. Beefab, you get matches on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, okay, shut up. They're ugly pictures anyway. Does it matter? Okay, I mean, ask yourself if they're ugly. Does it really matter? Like, you know, like. You know, you can go around and be like, yo, dude, I got, like, I remember when I <laughs> I walked into one of my friends. I think I got, like, 21 matches, right? Okay, whatever it was. Or 21 people that like my profile. So I walked up to the guy, and I go, yo, and he's, he's talking about Tinder. He's like, dude, the women out during this time of the, like, the season, he's like, they're always so, like, thirsty. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, he's like, my Tinder game's been up. And I'm like, oh, that's really nice to hear. He's like, I'm like, how much matches do you have? Uh, and he goes, Six hundred and like sixty something. And I'm like, what? what? And he's like, how about you? And I looked up and I said, uh, twenty one. <laughs> he's like, bro, you'll get somebody. There's hope for you. Don't worry, man. And I'm just like, not anymore. <laughs> I thought on average, maybe people got a hundred, maybe two hundred, not six hundred plus. I just, I just thought of like how casual he's just like sitting there. He's like, you know, the season like women are so like thirsty, and I'm like, uh huh, yep. And uh, <laughs> I couldn't have asked him how many matches he had. <laughs> uh, so. What, 21 matches? Beef out with the matches? You know the funny? I'm not even kidding. So my uh, my matches went up when I literally showed a photo of my ass. So uh, <laughs> I took my uh, gym photo and I just, like, zoomed in all the way on the ass and put it on there. Literally within, like, an hour, I had more matches. So. I'm, just like, I'm not a piece of meat. I'm a human, guys. Okay? Now, if, if there was an app where they only rate you on your ass, I'm telling you I'd be getting all the women. Like, literally, I would be like, you guys wouldn't even see me anymore because of all the women I'd be getting, so. Sure. <laughs> Andrew, we're not talking about my face, you piece of shit. We're talking about my ass, Andrew. Okay. Now we're set. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's better. Bam! With an ass like that, I forget my ass. Rest like this. If I get on that, I have it on top. I can beat my turn. No? Let me get in there. Uh, yes, I opened a Tinder account over the summer and sent my profile pic as a turkey as a joke about a girlfriend at the, at the top. I got kind of pissed off. <laughs> uh. Okay, we're going to play some roulette. Low money, though. Because <laughs> that's how gambling works. Eric, tell me what money is because I can't relate to having any of it. Something went wrong. What? Come on, let me in. I have money on here. Come on. <laughs> okay, there we go. Mm. Mm. 
connection. Come on. Why is there poor connection? I have good uh, Wi Fi. How are your video from today doing? <laughs> what happened? How's your video from today doing? Oh, I, I'm getting a lot of hate. It's hilarious, but I'm not bothered by it. You know, like when you're younger, you get hate, you like want to kill yourself. Like, it's hilarious. I'm enjoying getting more and more dislikes, so. Yeah, I saw it's like pushing like 70 or something on your Instagram story. <laughs> And the Bionicle fans are brutal. Like some dudes, like dude, go, dude, go, go. Uh, he said, "Go bury yourself with like four tons of uh, what did he say, mega blocks?" And then I sent him a link to buy what does twenty five thousand dollars worth of Lego look like? And then he goes, "Be found." He's like, "Wow, a common collective answer." I'm surprised. He goes, "You know, I disagree with you. A nice Lego collection, though." <laughs> I'm just like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> uh Party up a uh, dollar. Yeah, like I look at it, I know people love Bionicle. Like yeah. I knew, like even people that I rem that like are my friends now that don't really have mess with Lego too much are like, yo, I remember Bionicle as a kid. That was the coolest thing. Uh, but so like I can see how it's getting the most votes. It's just if you had the ability to revive one, I would not have chosen Bionicle. I'd choose <laughs> yeah. like classic space or castle. Yes. I'd probably pick castle to be one hundred percent honest because I enjoyed castle. Sets I wanted adventure to come back because I'm a real man, man. You know, like yeah, that I, would be. I, I never agree. bought any sets of adventures, so I think You're the three that I voted for were classic space adventurers and time cruisers because I think it would have been. So you're the reason week. classic space made in the top three, Jeff. You piece of shit. <laughs> Wait, I, so I it's like it would have been excellent if Time Cruisers came back because uh, that was easily the most obscure of all of those. It yeah, was, I was about to say, what weird. exactly is Time Cruisers? <laughs> just weird. take a guess. Just take a guess based on the name. I don't know. It's just people who tra oh. travel back in time. Travel and so vehicles. That's it. Yeah. Vehicles that travel back in time. Never yeah. even heard of this. But. <laughs> One seventeen light legion bionicle should burn. <laughs> well, I mean, the thing is, I knew yeah, what I trigger people, right? I knew, like, I'm like, either this video is going to do really well or it's gonna bomb. And uh, I guess it kind of did both. Yeah. Like, the views are pretty decent, um, but like the uh, <laughs> the response, I didn't expect that many dislikes. So I'm like, I wonder if this got picked up by a bionicle forum because uh, mm -hmm. I have not seen that many dislikes on a video uh, like that fast. And yeah, so. Like, they all, like, came at once, you know? Like, it was like, like okay, you know, let's say, like, 30 likes, for dislikes. Okay, I understand. You know, Bionicle fans probably have triggered. I come back, like, an hour later. <laughs> it's, like, about half. Now it's more than half. <laughs> I'm just like it. Uh. Um, uh, Eric, uh, yeah, Iesta is trying to join. I got Iesta. it. I think oh, I'm from awesome. Discord. Oh, is he? Uh, yeah. Who's this? I'm going to invite him to your Discord, Eric. Who that? Uh, oh, uh, you, you, you don't have to be sharing this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw something run. I was like, what was that? Uh, okay, let me do that. <laughs> I'll do it all this way. Oh, is Velma here? Yes, Welcome, hello. Velma. How's it going? Just Watch know me. your daughter. I truly was I'm excited for Bionicle Wedding, but I respect the opinion of other people who aren't. I don't like how people are disrespecting the franchise and fans. I mean, I didn't disrespect the franchise or the fans. I said it how it was. I said, hey, you know what? This theme, they had a chance to bring it back. It failed a second time. Why would you bring it back now? You know? And then I said, I don't want it to represent the 90th year of Lego, and I stick by what I said. I, I mean, I could have been an ass, but I mean, I like people who like Bionicle. I don't have like, an issue, right? It's not like I'm losing... Uh, sleep over you know bionicle fans or what like you know what i'm saying like i'm not i i could have been disrespectful i i think i handled it extremely well so but people so, what is lego saying they're gonna release like a line or a few no, sets one set. or one set right one, you know, if you wait, see, people are losing their shit over one set <laughs> yeah yeah Y'all, yeah. <laughs> it's it's. I don't think Bionicle was ever going to win, and if it was, I think it was. Like, I I don't think that this vote is a legit vote. Is the actual? It stayed the 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 sheep people tell me. Honestly, 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 I think it's rigged towards classic space. Welcome Ooh, to you. No. I just wanted adventures to win. That's all I cared about, truly. So, because classic space was going to make okay, it. Thank you, regardless thank you like Priya classic more. Space. I was worried you were talking about me because at this point, people are just like, 
ripping me a new one. Like, this is the first time, like, where I get hated, I'm enjoying it. I'm like, give me more. I'm like, this is the most dislikes I've ever got, baby. Keep it going. Keep it going, you know? That's uh, the most? Uh, okay. okay, when I say most, like, I mean, my Brookweed rant got more, but clearly, like, the like to... Uh, uh, like to dislike racist or was better in my favor. This time it's way worse. Like this is over like out of the there's 150 likes, it's like 78 dislikes. That's freaking high. So. Please have I hate you on mm -hmm. subscribing. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it's uh Cassandra Howard that's sending down all the hate. Yeah, Cassandra all the way. Yeah. <laughs> that was so funny. BFAM Shaggy has a two inch. Thank you, Velma. I, I don't know why you're letting me know that, but. Uh, <laughs> uh, Little weird, Velma. Come on. All right. I lost $12 live. So there you go. Go. Hey, you, Damn. Ha ha, you dumb. And no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Rip Eric. I'm currently, uh, I found the bins with all my Death Star pieces in it. So I'm trying wait, to show that. Wait, wait. Oh, there wait. you go. Nice. Uh, did you guys read the whole thing about the fan vote? No, I think so. So they're splitting the fan vote into two parts, which I know, and then you can vote for three, and then they're doing a second vote, which is for the top three themes from the first vote, but one of those themes will be the 90th anniversary set. And yeah, Lego won't let you know, I know, yeah. yeah. So is is next year the 90th anniversary? Or is it later Correct. this yeah, year? 2022. 2022. Okay. I love getting hanged. It turns. Now just picture I make a post. I'm gonna make a pin comment on uh on what's it called on uh YouTube. Just saying every time I get hit, I, I wank off or something. Just to be with <laughs> not one dislike equals one nut. <laughs> Yeah, one dislike is one nut. <laughs> just, no, just, <laughs> people would be really like, like, oh, then you'd really get like, disliked, Bob. Or no, or people would be like really uncomfortable disliking it. They'd be like, oh, you know, we're just gonna leave this video and dislike it. I would but, dislike. Uh, I think I liked it, but I, I would change my rating in a heartbeat. Uh, yeah, I'll help you, Fab. I'll give you another dislike just for your pleasure. <laughs> Hell yeah! Ooh, just, ah. I wonder if just because of the way how like tantalizing this video is and polarizing, people will like pop up in more recommended. Oh, stuff. I think it will. Yeah, I think I realize like a lot of videos that get a lot of hate tend to get recommended more. My Paris, my Pirates of Barracuda Bay video got a ton of hate. What and for? I said I didn't like it because I was oh. like, well, ironically, in my own <laughs> set, but like I, I for when first looked at it, I was just like, oh, it's different from the fan design. I don't like this. And I think it has, like, 60 dislikes and 30 likes or something like that. Like, people were very angry. Yeah, I like the Pirates of Barracuda Bay. It's just, with its size, I have nowhere to put it, so I don't buy it. Oh, yeah, I had to clear out an entire shelf. It's fucking huge. We'll see, because how tall is it? Because I think I read somewhere it's in, like, the 20 to 25 it's inches tall. It's pretty tall. I'm not yeah, very my... good at, like, estimating that sort of stuff, but it's the official like, description says that it is over 23 inches high, 25 yeah. inches wide, and 12 inches deep. My it shelves are 16 inches. Impression whether displayed at home or as an office desk device. It takes yeah, up about see. as much space as the uh, micro-scale Hogwarts does, and that's twice the cost. So They do specify that it does not require batteries. How much... Uh, how do you... <laughs> <laughs> what would batteries do? In, how, I don't know, how many Lego sets out it. there actually have batteries? Like the trains well, and other motorized things? Well, no, the only... Uh, well, I guess the only ones that would be no batteries required. But there's also the uh, light bricks, which do require batteries. Okay. But, they, uh, yeah, that's true. but they come with batteries, so... Yeah. Is there a well, light bricks in the Paracutaba Paris one? No, there's not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Seems like a useless one to put there. Yeah, I finally got the final shelf up in my room, and now I'm officially kind of out of space to put shelves. And it's like, because like a quarter of the yeah. shelf is just Tantive 4. Dang. Yeah, the Tantive the 4 new one. is a little large. Yeah. I got it when it was on sale. Not there. Oh, was it really on sale? It went down to 160. Oh, okay, that's not amazing. 
Eh, it's what I wanted to get it for. I was like, ah, yeah. I don't think it's 200. It looks like a 160, 150. And then it went 160, and I just said, yeet. And I took that thing off the shelf. Yeah, I'd buy it for like 140, maybe. Uh-huh. I sold it for 200, so I'm happy about that at least. <laughs> don't have to deal with it anymore. And I'm almost about to sell the Nebulon 5. Or four, Nebulon five. Neither of those. Nebulon B. Yeah. Nebulon B. B. That's it. <laughs> Not so whatever that one is. Yes. <laughs> We're ninety though, so that's awesome. I don't know why everyone's hyping that one up in particular so hard. It's well, like, we yeah, because we've never gotten one. Before. Maybe we've be never cool. gotten it, but it's there's no nothing exclusive to it. It appears in a lot of Star Wars movies, so I think people are just like That's it's just desirable to people. I think it's in like I, six or seven movies. Six or seven? I would yeah, picture it, it would be in like. Four it's in or Empire, five. Return of the Jedi, the entire sequel trilogy. Rogue One. Really? Maybe hmm. no, I don't think it's in solo, but yeah, I was so about six. to say I'm like I'm like I could picture the I original trilogy. Yeah, I could see it being a nice display, but it seems like because it's on like the MIDI scale, it wouldn't like scale up to all the other sets that are on my shelf. Yeah, if it was a bigger scale, I'd be more inclined to purchase it, but I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like it's not even MIDI scale, really. It's just micro. Like if you yeah. look at the actual size of the vessel. So yeah, that thing would be so much money. Probably fifty. No, not five hundred. Five hundred. Probably voted for it when they did the. They well, I feel like they could do like a two or three hundred dollar set, and that would be like MIDI scale for the design. Yeah, yeah. yeah like and MIDI have scale. and It'd probably have like MIDI fig compatible, yeah. like the Panther Four. Like nothing is nowhere close to MIDI fig scale, but you can still put stuff mm-hmm. inside there. Yeah. yeah. Minifig scale is really scary when you put some of these things in perspective. You're like, oh my god. <laughs> I know, some right? Some of these like, are huge. I'm pretty sure uh, I read somewhere that like a Death Star in minifig scale would be like the size of Manhattan, which sounds about right. <laughs> I read it in a mall. Oh, I've got yes in the case. What do you think? Whatever. Um, the, uh, like a Venador or something. How big oh, do you gonna, think that would there? be in minifig Frozen scale? For you guys? I mean, a vampire yeah. would be, like, bigger than a house, for sure. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know if it would be huge. I guess BFAP couldn't hear me or something? I don't know. Because, yeah. like, <clears throat> I'm debating, because I need to see how big the UCS gunship is. Because I I love my gunship, the 2008 one. But I don't know how huge and disgustingly sized this one will be. Because... I mean, probably like double the size, right? Which sounds insane. No, I don't think. Like, it yeah, it does. I don't think it'll be that big. I've never think... owned a gunship, and so I kind of need to get this one because I don't think I'll make another one for a long time yeah, after. That's but, true. Yeah, it's surprising how like they've only made two of them, but they've released three turbo tanks. No, they've done three gunships. Oh, they've done three gunships? Oh, oh, the 2002. I completely forgot about the one yeah. with Jedi Bottom. I mean, My that bad. one's pretty garbage, yeah. but it exists. Yeah, because I got three, the... Two. Yeah, they've done three turbo tanks. 2005, 2010, 2016. Mm-hmm. I, they, I have I the three four turbo tanks. Am I wrong? No. They did one yeah, to no. coincide with Revenge of the Sith. They did one to coincide with the Clone Wars, and then they just did the random 2016 yeah. one, which is like... Not specifically. Oh, see, I, I, I know why I'm confused. There was the uh, light up version and the non light up version. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I got the non light up version of the 2005 one. I was on the I first was a Lego set when that I came out. Oh, well, I was five, so it was perfect. <laughs> I was so like they were like, two. oh. No, I, I still have a, a, a vivid memory in my mind of like a half second snippet. Where it's like, you know how your life flashes before your eyes and you realize, ah, oh, damn, that's a mistake. It was just me and my friend taking apart the, the t- 2005 turbo tank at like age six Dang. and just building some garbage. And I have like the vivid flashback of us tearing apart the turbo tank. And I'm just like, oh, no. Oh, God. I, <laughs> like, it's like huge regret because now I'm like, yeah, I could rebuild it. But like, 
I also have so many like custom mocks and shit that like I'd have to look through the mocks and tear them apart to grab the pieces from the turbo tank. Yeah. And I'm just like, damn. That story sucks, Andrew. It sucks more than when I suck dick. Oh my God. I got the 2010 edition. I was I was like the See, right age when that came out. That, that's the other thing. I do have the 2010 one, and that one is Bill. But I couldn't find the instruction for the 2005 one, and I kind of, in a way, think the 2010 one looks better. That's just my thought. I um, prefer the 2010 one out of all three of them. Yeah, because isn't it... It's Is it the... Sm- Biggest? It's or... biggest, yeah. It's definitely the yeah. biggest. That's why I like it because it's I sit it sits there on top of like the mock that I have in the other room and it just looks menacing rolling through the grass. Okay, Guys, it's almost so going I have a food on. Recommend that I'm in. Okay, I don't have vegan pizzas left and I could get pulled over if I drive at night. What do I do? One, get vegan pizzas and possibly get pulled over to deal with the torture. Wait, why would you deal with getting? Why would I get pulled over? Uh, my tags are expired. Jeez, man. And I already have more tickets I'm not paid. How about Uber Eats? Uh Is that an option? It probably is, but the pizza's already expensive. (laughs) What kind of vegan pizza do you get? Vegan cheese pizza. It's so good. Yeah. It's better than sex. To everyone who's never had sex like yeah. myself, it's better than sex. He said, Damn. Damn. <laughs> One, you gain calories, and the other, you lose calories. <laughs> Unless you're True. fucking dead. I mean, at this point with the Tinder matches I'm getting, the girls are going to fucking crush me to death. So, I mean, yeah, I guess I'll be losing calories, but I'll be paralyzed. So. <laughs> oh, my God. These Tinder matches I'm getting, they're like 400 pounds. What, what can I say? Maybe that's why they're on here. Instead of interacting with people. Wait, why are like, you matching them? Why are you swiping on them? Okay, what I, I keep saying matches, but like Tinder gold. What, what I mean is Tinder gold. So you can view the people that swipe right oh on you. Oh my god. You yeah. have Tinder gold? That means you're you desperate, you piece of shit. For Tinder? Yeah, okay. It's Tinder gold, <laughs> but you have okay. like, what even de- okay, see. let me tell you how it feels to be desperate. When you get rejected, right? Okay. Uh it, you you just go in, you get the what you can get. And so, you know, like when you get rejected so often you want to see who you get rejected, right? And it's good. You know? So I, I, I can get behind what you're saying. You're at least a year now, right? What? You've been paying for Tinder Gold for at least a year now, right? Uh probably. And uh how how effective is it, man? <laughs> it hasn't. We have not My heard any hasn't stories, wet yet, so. That's how effective. When I when I vanish from like talking to you guys for like a whole year, you'll know that I'm getting my dick stuck like twenty four seven. So <laughs> exactly. That's <laughs> pretty. Oh man. Like when you guys text me, and I'm just like, one second I'll be I'll like text you back, and I text you back a year later, it's because I was getting the. That the whole sex, year. The sexy time. Oh. Yeah. Did you say your no, longest like, relationship was like two weeks? It it was, yeah, but <laughs> but 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 right, it's gonna be different this time. You know? Yeah, yeah. This relationship is only based on sex that'll last only a day. So uh if sure. not all <laughs> but, like I'll pull it out, they'll be like, uh uh. uh uh, we liked you before until we uh, saw uh, oh, that. <laughs> what? I think that's how it's going to go. Lego Freak said you said that last year. Lego Freak, okay? Unless you get laid by your sister, you're never getting laid, so shut the hell up. Oh. Um, oh, man. <laughs> you've used that joke before. Jesus. I know. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> Leave the man alone. <laughs> You're breaking up. Yep. He's probably driving to get some vegan pizza. Yeah. <laughs> nope, he just has COVID. Oh, uh, never make it. Never make a black out of your first. So, BFAB, have you been tested for COVID? You know, I've been coughing like the last two days, so who knows? Get tested. <laughs> It might be worth it. I was going to go hug my mother a huge hug just to test it out. 
you know. He's like there's a free test site right so. near me if you want to come by. What happened? There's a free testing site right near my house if you want to come by. Uh, see, I love Julie Aston, but I'm trying to kill my whole family, so you know, you understand. <laughs> of course. Yeah, yeah. I just give them a hug. <laughs> they just the hustle never stops. <laughs> <laughs> this set has a lot of pieces. Lead into the not funny. Uh, lead into because you're a fucking pussy. I mean, uh, hey, lead in. How's it going? Okay. What did <laughs> no, I do? Lead in. No, what? Lead in. Uh, okay. Lead in. I was kidding. Kinda. <laughs> I don't think he was kidding. BFAB, drink some water or get tested. Get some cough syrup or cough now that drop. I might have COVID, hopefully, I'm going to go to Walmart right now and make out with a bunch of strangers. Oh, my so. God. I know, have you seen idea. those videos of like people who actually do that? It's so funny. Yeah, no. <laughs> I have. Yeah, I love the videos where people go into like Walmart and then they're just like, they just like, do some absurd shit behind them and then like turn around and act like it's nothing. Like I saw one dude where he like, he set it up perfectly where he would drop garbage cans on everyone in the aisle and including himself. So all of a sudden everyone would be like, what the hell? And they'd all turn at each other and they're like, wait a second. We all had garbage cans on top of us. Who did that? And then they go like, he, I have, I hope they're staged because if not, it's too golden. Yeah. I like to, uh, sometimes when uh, when I'm when I go out skiing and like there's a packed ski line, I just like to yell out "Dad" and like see how many people turn their heads. It's pretty <laughs> and it's even funnier because like half the people who do it are women. Like the people turn in their heads. So I'm like, <laughs> what's going on with you? <laughs> I find that so funny. Just. Oh yeah, so I can't it, it wait to do in, that. Like, just do it in like any crowded place. I know it's been, like difficult with COVID, but like you will, <laughs> you'll get results. It's funny. I always love those back in the day before COVID. The dudes like, oh yeah, it's contagious. I'm gonna die soon. Uh, they say don't be more than five feet away from me, and the dudes like right next to the guy in the grocery store on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> God, I wish I hadn't was able. To, oh my God! Do you want me to say the my favorite Walmart story of all time? Why not? So I'm sitting there with like five friends. One of them is a straight hoodlum. Like, there's no better way to explain him. He just loves doing reckless stuff. So we're sitting there, and you know how at like Walmart they have like the exercise equipment all like laid out like on the shelves and stuff as display. Yes. On the highest display, they had a bicycle, like one of the exercise bikes. <laughs> so the homie hops up on tops of it, top of it. A worker comes walking by. He looks him dead in the eyes and goes, can I try this out? No words are spoken. He just starts pedaling as fast <laughs> as he could on the top That's of the amazing. thing. And I'm just like, bro, I got to go. <laughs> oh and the God. best part is... We they were like gonna trail us to like leave the store and like get like someone else to like look at us, and then all of a sudden this dude high out of his mind comes up and starts asking the dude questions, and he's interrupted, and we've got off scot free, and I'm just Jesus. like, dude, you can't be doing that dumb shit around us. That's but hysterical. that was, oh yeah, I think there's a video. I could send a video to the stream chat after. I just need to contact the right people because they definitely have it. Okay, yo, can I use this? <laughs> One time, um, do you guys know what Wahlburgers is or is that like just a thing for me? Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's I... like Mark Wahlberg's burger place. Um, oh, yeah. I've not. His brother, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, his brother, not him. Um, Marky Mark. But one time I went with like a bunch of friends. This was like right before COVID. And there were these girls, like probably a couple years younger than us, like sitting behind us. Um, and they were just like throwing fries and, you know, all sorts of like food at our table. And like they were, 
like they were like clearly interested in like one of my friends i, I would not go as far as to say they were interested in me because like the chances of that are low but um <laughs> They okay. they were like fil- they were filming this on their like Snapchat stories or whatever, and so like we kind of just ignored. Like it was a little bit obnoxious, but like whatever. Like they're just throwing French fries, right? And one of my friends is wearing a white collared shirt, and they poured a chocolate milkshake down his back, and he just like oh. flipped out at them. And so then I flipped out too, and I took my friend's water and I just threw it at one of these girls, and she was like in a hoodie. And then she was like soaked for uh, for the entire night because after that we went to the movies and they went to the same theater, not the same movie. Oh my god! But uh, like even when they came out, she was still soaked. It was so funny. What movie? It was Sonic the Hedgehog. It was, uh... <laughs> so it was recent. Yeah, we we saw it to make fun of it. Um, we were the only people in the theater too, which was amazing. What did you think of the movie? I. I, it was a fun one to watch and make fun of yeah. with friends. I didn't pick up on much of the plot because we were being loud and obnoxious the whole time. We're the um, only ones in the theater. I'm never loud. Oh, so you're, you're those people that I'm like, shut the fuck up, Billy. No, I would I would never do that if I was with other people in the theater. But like, since it was just us, we were like, oh shit. Like that was that was me and my friends during Ant Man and Wasp. Man, there was nobody in the theater. It was just three of us, and we just did not care. We we're like, oh, they got snapped at the end. Oh, bro, we were. Free- <laughs> yeah i know when i watched the lego movie i mean the lego batman movie like we went to the theater in the middle of the day we had been you know visiting california to see my brother for his graduation and we were the, my little brother and i and then like one random guy were the only people in the theater i'm just like this is really nice you know yeah. so, when yeah. i saw the lego batman movie i was with my cousin so he's like he's four years younger than me so in 2017 he would have been like nine and um there was this lady behind us in the theater and she sounded like a monkey like she was howling at every joke and like you're seeing a kids movie Dude. first of all like yeah how's this so funny to you but she was right behind us and i like straight up moved and so in 2017 i was like 13 and so i just turned around to this lady and i was like you need to have better theater etiquette like that's all i said and then we just moved to a different seat and she just stared at me and i was like okay <laughs> Nowadays, I probably would have gotten like pissed off, but like back then, I was very shy, and like for me mm-hmm. to even say something at all was like, you know, that that happened during Frozen Two. Me and my cousin got bored one day, and we're like, "Nothing to do tonight. Let's go watch Frozen Two in theaters." And there was some lady. That's always the most tragic thing, Eric. I hate reddish brown. This just crumbled in my hands. I am not that strong. There's no way. Oh, Dude, yeah. The other day I'm taking apart pieces. I snapped two of them in one go, taking them apart. I'm like, oh my God. This is ridiculous. I need this part. I barely have any reddish brown. Reddish brown is the worst <laughs> color. Oh, yeah. Worst. I swear, the worst one for me is the little cylinders, the one by one cylinders. Oh, no. For me, it's the two by two ones. Oh, I've never had a two by two. Uh, well, I it's uh, I had I was building the uh, what's it called? It was one of the Ninjago 2011. It uh, came with JDX. It was like twenty five dollars. Was the it name. the skeleton bowling one? Yeah, 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 that one. Yeah. Uh, so I broke like um, it was it was like five or six of the two by two round bricks and red is round. When I was taking those out apart, I broke like five. <laughs> Welcome, Doc. By the way, how's it going? And, uh, no, I won't be selling this mock. Uh, these parts will go to future mocks in the future. Uh, Welcome, AWM, by the way. And uh, I think that's upside down. I can't really read it. No, it's just Greek. It's just Greek. You can read Greek. What does it say? No, he just, Doc Sampson guessed that it was Greek. And then instantly after, AWM said, Congratulations, you won a free toaster in response. So I'm guessing it's Greek. It looks very familiar. Tell us what it is, uh, Mr. AWM. That's a little low. You have the link, by the way, AWM. You can join our uh, little thing. I just translated it. Would you like to know what it says? Depends. It says English to Greek. (laughs) (laughs) That's it. Wow. (laughs) Wow, that's it. He got us. This is mine, mine, how we going? It says English to drink. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you, uh, AWM. Appreciate it. <laughs> Let's see. And my computer is heating up. 
Man, I need more parts. Anyone want to donate parts? Currently, no. Especially mock my is, it? is this uh, Attack on Titan? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I always need reddish brown, so I'm sorry. I, don't really I should watch that series. It's been like it, it's been popular for a while. I've been told to watch it. Yeah, and currently it's on its final season. So if you like catch up, then you'll be able to witness like the final episodes, like as it comes out, and be like as hyped as we are. How many seasons yeah. are there? It's four. Well, okay. part season three was in two parts, but I think it's still only equal like twenty four episodes. I think we're on episode like 86 was the one that released. No, 66 was the one that released. 67, yeah. The yeah. only uh, the only anime I've watched is Avatar, and I don't even know if that really counts or not. It's a hot debate in the anime community. Yeah. I consider it a lot of people don't. They're like, it has to be made in Japan. But then half of the yeah. animes that are made in Japan are outsourced to China and Thailand. I, and I just don't Korea. know. Like, I, I, so, oh yeah, I enjoyed Avatar: The Last Airbender. Speaking of, I got my. Uh, hold on, I'm plug it in because I I've got my Avatar: The Last Airbender Lego figures in the mail, and I finally put them on my Ooh. Appa. He spent so much money. Oh, How much yeah. did they cost? I'm curious. <clears throat> I talked to some guy, so I got Momo, Aang, Soka, Katara, and um, Zuko. Like, it's four figures and one pet animal. Um, one thirty. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Not my best purchase I've ever made, but okay, hold on. They might do, especially with the ideas that might be coming out. That's the one thing I'm fearing the most that that's actually going to come out. I don't know if it will, because I feel like the resurgence of Avatar popularity was like kind of short lived. I think we'll get an. I'll think. Well, I think we'll get an avatar set. I don't know any like. Yeah, we're gonna we'll get an avatar set. Eric, can you throw my? Uh, I don't know. My screen as know. the main one for a minute. I I think blue people avatar is going to happen regardless of what. Oh, they're that's gonna happen like because Lego for Dimensions they have the license for it. Um, I, they did. It was it was one of the planned year three ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, but that's I tough think, that it never went came to be. I think it'll happen regardless because of Avatar 2. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that releases next year, right? Or yeah. I don't know. I thought You're it was 2022. 2022 is next year, yeah. Well, I forgot for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing track of days. Oh, I thought that was a unicorn. No, it's Appa. And Ooh, then I got Aang and the crew sitting on the back. But, uh, Do they talk them after? Um... So what? What'd you just say? I'm asking the card hitting questions. The yeah. hard hitting questions. I heard something like blank them after. I think you heard exactly what you said that. Yeah. Eric, you are a disgusting individual. I wouldn't fuck an animal. And neither should you. I think you watch some weird stuff uh, on your free time. So that makes sense. There. Just because that's what your parents did to you, but that doesn't mean I'm a part of it, okay? Wait, my parents did that to me? How would they just force me to watch stuff on my free time like that? No, I'm saying your parents fucked you, but, you know. Okay. Family bonding. Let's get Together. To a <laughs> Together. <laughs> Forever. I'm kidding. I need 11 of, like, these gray cylinder pieces for my Death Star, and I'm missing four somehow. And like it's kind of a those weird are the piece. worst. See, on, on my Venator, yeah. I couldn't find the little mini pistol pieces that are like the turrets, and you need sixteen. And I've just slowly, oh, no. as I've been looking through my collection, I've been finding more. But it's like yeah. I think I'm only at like twelve right now because it's like <sighs> Eric's That's flexing rough. on you. You need this part. No, it's like it's like the quarter cylinder pieces. Like they're big. Oh, yeah. Wait, you're missing For, like no, this. But, uh, half half. Are you? You're talking about like the elevator shaft pieces. How the hell are you missing eight of those? I'm, I'm gonna raise my hand. Why are we talking about shaft? I don't know. 
Oh, Excuse I know exactly where mine. Uh, I think I, I, I think I might have borrowed them for my Razor Crest mock. I think that's why I'm missing them. I think I found them. Hey, excuse me. Oh, why are we talking it, about gas right now? That part? Yes, that part. You're Ooh. the one who brought it up, DJ. Shut up. No, I didn't, Jeff. I got like six of those parts. Okay, Eric. <laughs> I, I feel like I had a Death Star in this collection, but I don't know. <laughs> I yeah I, I'm sorting through all the Death Star pieces. I'm missing a, a good amount, probably over a hundred, and then I'm gonna like bricks and pieces or um, brick link the ones I'm missing after searching through my collection to see how many I can find on my own. Mm. Yeah, I should definitely do like brick link of that. Uh, but was it six thousand parts for a Death Star or something? Right, three thousand eight hundred. 3,800. Damn, okay. I, I oh. estimate I'm missing about 100. Well, that's not going to be that expensive then on uh, BrickLink. Yeah, I don't I don't know really how to use BrickLink. I might have to look up some videos on that. I've never placed an order there. Well, it's going to take some time removing all the um, uh, parts that you already have. but um, Exactly. Just... So right now I'm basically just like sorting all the pieces and then I'm going to count them and like go through the part list and like see how many of each I have. So, Do you have like the instructions? Uh, in your I do. You have? Yeah. So I'm going to put notes <laughs> on them of like the ones I need and stuff. So. Okay. So yeah, it just might be easier to um, input the numbers individually instead of having to go through 3,800 something parts to remove what you don't need. Exactly, so, yeah. They, they should have the part number there, I'm pretty sure. For They do, of, yeah, which is helpful. Yeah, so you'll be able to input that on BrickLink and just add it to your cart pretty much. Yeah. Or don't, don't add it to the cart. Just go through and put a wanted list together. And then from there, you can take that to one store in particular that might have all those parts for a cheap Ooh, okay. price. Yeah. I'm hoping it'll be like 30 bucks. I like at the most, I don't know. I don't want to spend a ton of money to fix this thing, but when you got to do it. You got to do, you know. Yeah, it might. It might be cheap. It should hopefully yeah. not be that bad. It was like ten parts I got for the mystery machine, and I had to spend you know three bucks on shipping, but it cost me four dollars total for parts for the mystery machine to okay. complete a dollar set. So that's not too bad. Yeah. So if anything, the high of like forty probably. Unless the cylinder parts that you have to buy. Are... I, I might borrow some for Snoke's throne room and then um, gotcha. try to find two other ones. I'm sure I have them somewhere. Gotcha. Well, that would be cool. See you, Legion. Thank you so much for coming. See you. But, uh, but I got to go if you all aren't done when I'm finishing doing what I'm doing or about to do. I'll join back. Uh, but if not. All right. See you, man. Thank you so much for coming. We're going to be live for another like 42 minutes. So no problem. I'm going mentally insane. I need to go get myself a pizza. I'm doing it. Refab, do you need some more money to get some tags? Do I need what? You need money to get some tags. I do need money, but life sucks. It's okay. Tell me how much it is. Have you been applying for any jobs, Refab? I have. Uh, I'm not getting any response. Yeah, I applied to one supermarket, and I'm waiting for a response. And if I don't hear back, I'm going to apply to this other one that some of my friends work at. So... Where you live, uh, Yefta? Massachusetts. Massachusetts, okay. Yeah. You should see we... if there's a uh, Target distribution center near you. Uh, Why? He may not be able to because of his age. They make a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, really? They make a lot of money. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are you 16? I am, yes. Almost 17. Uh, Jeff, do you know the legal age for workers? <laughs> it's 16 for... here. Well, yeah. I thought for like factories or something, it may be like yeah. 18. Yeah, sure. oh, it might be 18. Never mind. Darn it. That sucks. Rip. Let me see that. I'm going to Google Maps this target distribution center. Hey, if you want a job in Connecticut Taco Bell, I can get you the job pretty easily. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, my boss has said if you have anyone you want to work here, I can let them walk through the door. Be fab. <laughs> Come to Connecticut. <laughs> Eric, the nearest one is 158 miles away from me. Oh, damn. Oh. That's crazy. Okay. How much is it an hour, Andrew? <laughs> Just 12. 
<laughs> it is like on the border between Vermont and New Hampshire, Saratoga Springs. Jeez. Uh, oh, wow. So you got to go north for that? Jeez. Yes. Crazy. I mean, I'm in Vermont a decent amount, but I don't think I'd be there that much. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, don't take a job there for that. I have to drive yeah, 26 exactly. minutes for $20 an hour. I, I still worth it's it. 20 bucks That's an hour. So good, bro. That's so good money. Holy crap. Yeah. Be fair, bro. Yeah, um, so at my current job, I make 13 13 an hour, but uh, I need a second job because I get very inconsistent hours with this one. 13 13 is that is Massachusetts minimum wage higher or do you just have a good job? I think I isn't it 13 50 now? It might be Damn. actually. Or, uh, I didn't no, think, think it's Massachusetts. 12, it's twelve fifty, and I no, get paid thirteen dollars sure? an hour, and I get a one percent raise every year, so that's why it's thirteen thirteen. So, are, are you sure that it's? I'm pretty sure that it went up on January first. Okay. Well, yeah. So I haven't worked since January first. So then. Okay. I, okay. No, like, if you haven't, that's tough. Yeah, you're yeah. not working at all. Exactly. Yeah, I. Whenever, like, there's an event going on at the place I work at, I'll, like, get a text. But, like, due to COVID, it's been very sparse. Or sparse. I don't know how you say that word. But, uh. Yeah, it's thirteen fifty per hour now. Okay. So, I guess I, I probably make, like, thirteen sixty three an hour now. So. And it's going up every year until it reaches 15. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Huh. That's nice. Be that that are you Mall? Mall of America? <clears throat> what happened? How close are you to Mall of America? Like 12 minutes away. Ooh, dude, there's a Target distribution center near you then. I don't know if I can work at anything related to Target, uh, Eric. It's been like two years, though, right? What it's happened been to Target, like, Defab? It's been like three years. Dude, you should be able to uh, apply then. What happened at Target? You can apply to a Target employee. You did what to a Target employee? I fucked a Target employee. No, oh. he did not. He lies. I thought it'd give me an extra 10% off. Didn't do shit. So the lesson learned is do not fuck Target employees. Yeah, no, that's not what you did. But, uh, yeah. dude. Definitely look up uh, Target Jobs or Target Careers. I think that's what it is uh, for the distribution center. See if they're um, accepting anyone right now. They probably are, but dude, that would if you do nights. Um, I don't know how much it is in your area, but if it's like twenty three dollars a night or an hour a night, is that worth it? I don't want to work nights anymore. I decided to fuck nights, but I would totally work at a Target distribution center. Okay, so twenty fifty in the uh, the day if it is that price in your area, which is Minnesota or Minneapolis, so it's got to be up there, right? You would hope so, right? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna totally reapply to more places. But I kept doing it. And I keep getting rejected or no response. So. I got accepted within like twelve hours of applying to Target, so you should definitely. Probably well, you reflect. you probably have a better um, what's it called than beef. Resume, yep. resume, yeah. track record. You haven't been fired from eighteen jobs, and you 18? are also fucking your mother wasn't a job. <laughs> Seventeen. Wait, so you're saying even then she fired you? <laughs> you did. You did not try. I'm oh. just like, no. no oh, do um. Mean. This yeah, might be Andrew's mine. mother, Bonquisha. Bon <laughs> if he is, I'd slap that. I mean, uh, I'm gonna go uh, try to get some pizzas. All right, fine then. But definitely, uh, I'm not leaving the stream. I'm just gonna go bother my mother for money to get pizza, and then I will return. And then, <laughs> beef. How old are you? Twenty. How old am I? Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Whoever said that? Wait, who said 22. that? Who asked uh, no, that? Yeah. Andrew? Yeah. Andrew, suck my dick. I'm just, I'm just trying to make a point. You're asking your mommy for some pizza money. <laughs> Again, Andrew, you know, actually, I take it back. Andrew, I'll suck your dick for twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> How did this flip this way? <laughs> desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> he said, "Vegan pizza." <laughs> the risk outweighs the, the reward. Outweighs the risk. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll be back. Uh, out of curiosity, what teams are you going to vote? Uh, I'm not going to vote, but I'm hoping Castle wins. That's going on. Uh, if you're not going to vote and you hope Castle wins, then go and vote for Castle. Yeah. I'm, I'm, My I'm, vote doesn't count, usually. It's do not. you just need an ideas account to vote? Yeah, it yeah. takes two seconds. I made one. Let me find it. 90th anniversary Lego. Hey, please. I uh, that would be decent, but I would appreciate a castle theme. That would be oh, awesome. I would love a space police. You gotta vote, vote for time cruisers. I, that just sounds weird. Uh, it so is. That's the point. Oh, you want to know why Bionicle probably got a huge freaking boost? Because IGN made a freaking uh, like a uh, article about it. Just saying, oh, for Le for 90th anniversary, Lego is giving fans the chance to revive Bionicle. <laughs> That's that all they said. It did not happen. That would be horrible. Yeah, I would. What would the Bionicle set even be? Real talk. Would it just be like. It? Is there any Bionicles in particular that are that iconic? It would just be the six main characters. They introduced it back. Like, I think it's a regular Bionicle to lose. If they're not, like, I guess unless they do a uh, brick build one, they're not, there's no way they can introduce all those more stuff. And classic space cause gotta have one serious vote. <laughs> I wish uh, I think it was Diesta, you brought up the point that they broke up castle into like six themes or something. They should have kept them yeah. all together. Oh yeah. Said classic castle, lion knights, black falcon, forest men, <laughs> black knights. Dude, we don't we don't know. Then all the castle fans are just gonna vote for their particular favorite something. <laughs> oh yeah, then it's like pirates is like pirates and then imperials. The, yeah. I feel like then, Imperials is different enough to warrant like a separate slot, but like that Black guess. Falcons versus Lion Knights, it's like come on man, really? Yeah, yeah. Dragon Knights. Oh crazy difference here. If they had that together, we would have another castle fame. So stupid. They should just make like 50 sets of it then. That, that would have been awesome. I would have bought all of them if it's so under dollars <laughs> Do you just vote in the comments section of the video? No. Or in the, oh, wait, never mind. The vote's vote over. Vote over, suck it. Oh, yeah. yeah, I was about to say, vote's over. It's over. I can't do shit. <laughs> Vend at no, 10 a.m. this morning. So who won then? Bionicle? Bionicle definitely is in the top three, yeah. No. So what are the top three then? Uh, Probably Bionicle, Bionicle Classic Castle. Castle, Classic Space, I think. Yeah. It could be Space oh, no, or Pirates. No, no. Is Bionicle Pirates in Classic Space? Is it really Pirates? That's stupid. I think so. Yeah, especially after Pirate Bay just dropped. We just got Pirate I mean, you could say the same thing about the Blacksmith drop. That's not a castle. That's a Blacksmith shop. We need a castle. Yes. It is castle. I would enjoy a genuine castle again. Because when was the last time Lego gave us like an actual little castle? Summer not, 2021. Yeah, I was I was about to say I'm like that's not Monkey Kid. Like, <laughs> no, we're like, getting uh we're getting one this year. Wait, what? House. Yeah, Creator Castle, hundred bucks this summer. Is there pictures? Nope. No, it's just a okay. rumor, but it will happen. Gotcha. Okay. Interesting. I If it's creator, I hope it's good. Seems like if it's creator, you can build like multiple different castles in. The creator I mean, pirate ship was good. The green one was actually good for creators, so who knows? I'm sure it'll be at least decent. Yeah, didn't they count Harry Potter as like a castle thing too? I don't know. <laughs> no. It was weird. Someone brought that up a while ago. Doc brought I mean, it up. It's the closest substitute that currently exists, yes. Yeah, but, but it's not a castle thing. It's so stupid that they would even say that. It is a castle. It's Hogwarts Castle. It's the magical castle with the uniforms and everything. It's a castle. Uh, the last castle thing released 2013. No, really? Man, oh my gosh. I'm dying for a new one then. I remember back in the day there was like a new one. Sorry, Eric. 
Yeah, that Castle five dollar jester thing. I remember I'll getting that. Castle if it comes back in stock. But it's not really a castle castle. Or the Disney castle? Yeah. Castle. Is it one of the classic, like, um, what's it called? One of the classics castle sets. If you find it sealed, it's like one of the most soul, like, yeah, the yellow Lego one. sets. Yeah. How yeah. much does that thing go for? A good amount. How much does it go for even used? A good amount. That's what I'm, I'm about to look at it. Yeah. Let's go Bricklink. Uh, classic, classic, uh, that. I think I'm going to sign off, though. I've been doing this Death Star thing for way too long. I'm starting to go crazy. I'll see you guys later. All, All right. See you around, man. All right. Peace out. See ya. And welcome in production. Thank you so much for coming. How's it going, man? All the comments on the Lego ideas are just people screaming for... Oh, that's so stupid. Yeah, they should not. Shouldn't be a thing. N minimum 250 bucks. For that for set? Complete, Holy cow. Yeah. It's kind of less than I thought, to be honest. Well, that's no box. I'm wondering how much sealed sealed in boxes. No, probably. Sealed would be like a crap ton. There's one sealed for eight thousand five hundred dollars on the. Good deal. You should buy. Oh, <clears throat> some of them are going for really expensive because they have um never used uh what's it called like sticker sheets. Uh. And now the sticker sheets themselves are like a thousand dollars. Jeez, that oh. is crazy. It's set number three hundred and seventy-five. Oh my god! I uh, will put that over here. Right here. God, I wonder if Lego ever has. Is it um basically like confirmed that? Has Lego been doing better in the last year because of COVID? Yeah. It was That's like what I was thinking. percent sales increase in their last uh, half-year statement. And was it steady going down before then? Or was no, it, it was just... steady going up. They've been going up since... There was one There was one half-year statement where they saw like a small like 2% drop in profits or whatever, but that was because they were making a new factory or whatever. Uh huh. Okay, so they're like spending really more. Like a movie. Yeah. Oh, that's true. I can see that being the the turning point. The Lego movie. Huh. Welcome, Ingrid. How's it going? Thank you so much for coming. Because <clears throat> now looking back at it, my biggest regret is taking that break from Lego. Because the moment I stopped buying Lego was the moment my life started going downhill, and then the moment I started buying Lego again, everything started looking up again. So, like, any time between 20, because the be end of 2012, beginning of 2013, actually, I would say 2012 was, like, when I stopped really buying Lego and getting anything. Because you look at my collection, and it's a ton of stuff from 2005 to 2012. There's, like, one or two 2013 sets, one or two 2014. I don't think I have, like, any, if not any, 2015 sets. And then 2017 was when I picked back up. And now, like, 2020, I'm back at, like, old numbers, even greater. Because I can just buy exactly what sets I wanted. But I regret it. Because now, looking back at some of the Star Wars sets and stuff from 2014, 2015, 2016, some of them were fire. And I just can't afford them. <laughs> Yeah, I, I wish I was rich back in the day so I could have uh, afforded a bunch of the awesome sets that were back then. You would have just held on to them to sell them. Huh? You would have just hold, held on to them to sell them. You're right, yes. I wish I was super lucky so I could win um, uh, Lego Man Scotland's uh, giveaway. That would be um, awesome thing to get. It's funny how everyone knows about that. I'm like, inside my head, I'm like, stop sharing it, people. Stop sharing it. I am I don't want to win this. It'll be oh, yeah, maybe, maybe it was 2011 when I stopped buying Lego sets because I'm looking. Oh, no, 2011, I was buying sets. I have a, lot, a bit of these. I just don't have the good ones. 
You on, you man. haven't been buying sets when we met you. That was like three years ago or something. Yeah, it's because I was very... I had a bad system in place where I worked enough so I would have money to survive and not work during the year. But instead, now I realize you want to work to get stuff you enjoy and survive, you know? Yeah. I mean, I work to have money to pay for sex, so... <laughs> How did that work? And that from Walmart it's now. <laughs> But, um, now we don't want this t- fucking shit. Holy fuck, it's snowing outside. <laughs> Fat it's man snowing. almost died after yeah. clipping on snow. It's snowing out here, too. Oh, my goodness, for me, it's white with the desperate, and it's love. Do I need to lose weight? Yes. How can I lose weight? Just move in with Eric, and I'll lose it. Yeah, come over here. I'll- Eric, if you find a place, remember, I'm still down for that whole deal thing, but, you know. I don't have anything right now. I'm just trying to get stuck in the job. (laughs) I get that. I heard if you suck, dick it out. Why am I keep giving this advice? I just start walking in Walmart, just say, oh, yeah, blank it blank. I'm going to suck this guy blank tonight. I heard that works. I don't. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, I'll get back to you. So I'm a jerk. I'm good. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> jerk. I'm alert. Fuck off. Fuck off. Let's see. Put that in there. Getting pretty icy. Living big. Yeah, it's snowing here too. Nice. Yeah, like a freak. Nobody wants you to talk or breathe. I mean, uh, hey, like a freak. Talk. <laughs> Ouch. I'm kidding. People don't actually think I hate Lego Freak. I think Lego Freak is cool, but he's like, like if you thought I was a virgin, like Lego Freak is virgin times two, you know? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, jeez, man. Oh, what is this person doing? Go, 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 go! Oh, okay. Is this AWN? I don't know who this is. I don't want to know. Who else has this link? I don't um, know. AWM. That's you. Probably call. Hernandez. <laughs> I don't know who that is. That's weird. How does this person have the link? Hey, I, I, it's, it's, in your Discord? it's AWM. If it's in your your Discord, Eric, it's in AWM. <clears throat> All right. Well, some random photo pops up. It's not my fault. What's going on, Hernandez? <laughs> Turns out this is the people who've been behind Scooby-Doo and Thelma accounts. Somehow they got the link. That's weird. <laughs> they As started guessing until they made it. Again. Not really a fan of seeing people's penis. You know, that was like last year. I was like, hell yeah, show your penis! But, you know, not really. Not my thing this year, guys. We're moving on to better things! <laughs> yeah! Sorry. Is he screaming in a Walmart? No, I think he's driving to Walmart now. I think he's got <laughs> His mommy gave him his money. Uh, <laughs> Let read the chat. I want to offer you Govar, but I need information for wire transfer. And pray to the Lord. He's talking randomly. Welcome, Hernandez, AWM. How's it going? Hernandez, AWM. 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 Hernandez, there's no, there's oh no my scam goodness, I have for Windows, I have for Microsoft, and all my name is Matthew. We, we I'm like, need I'm no one's name, you Matthew. You know, so. Sorry, no spec English. No spec English. <laughs> I still remember when uh, this scammer called me, and he said his name was, uh, Fred. Uh, 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 Jonathan Byers. And I started laughing, and I'm like, you fucking retard. I said, that's from a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> And then he, he cursed at me, and I started laughing at him. <laughs> and, uh, and all my name is Jonathan Byers. I'm like, wait a second. You think I'm going to fall for me the stranger things? <laughs> nice try, buddy. <laughs> Welcome, Squidman. How's it going? The person behind the Scooby-Doo accounts is in the chat. Ooh, is it you, Squidman? Hello, you send me Jose Hernandez had leave. Hernandez had leave. 
Hernandez had to leave. This is Jose. Uh, welcome, Jose. Why would it's wait? Jose. Why would, no, it's it's Jose, not Jose. Yeah. Say that. No, I pronounce Jose. I from different country. <laughs> I from country. No, you think you know no country. Add Brick Studios, welcome. How's it going? Thank you so much for coming. Who is Oh, hey, Brick Studio. You know, you made it my recent video or my second to recent video. Boy, is that the actual Brick Studios? Uh, if it is, yeah, I, I put it in my video. I told people to go support his OnlyFans. He yeah, has <laughs> now? Oh my gosh. Except, literally, I know he deleted it and we'd only get under 10 shots. But other than that, everything's great. Why would you even? Isn't he a kid? Brick Studio is like forty-seven. Really? Oh my gosh! I guess I'm thinking about someone else then. Brick Studio, the guy with the red brick that tells everyone he has like seven thousand subs now. Oh. Uh, that Brick Studio. Okay, I remember now. Let's see. Great video too. He says. <laughs> Jonathan Byers, Stranger Things, right? Yeah, he, he said that, yeah. I have to say, today I succeeded with pissing off the Bionicle community, and it feels great. You know? It's great. Now, talking about great, I'm about to go into Walmart, so, and I will be back. I'm going to leave in case I'm going to go run to the Lego aisle in case something's like a dollar, so. Doubtful. Everything's all Just push taken. all the kids out of the way to get there. Shut up, AW or whatever you said. Racist. I think you should just leave your phone in the car and have music start playing again. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, guys. Did I miss something great? That was from his uh, 24-hour stream. Yeah, that was a while ago. Oh, okay. That was actually a month ago today. That's crazy. Hey, Mini Brick. Mini Brick, Brick production says super bummed with the sad news that a BFAB only fans won't be happening. I think all of us are kind of disappointed. It's what we wanted in 2021, but he refuses to give it to us. For real, we would have even gotten discounts because we're the homes. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't have even applied for the discount. I would have paid full price. <laughs> You're like, fuck it, I'll do double. <laughs> hmm. See, Ingrid says, I don't see great sales in my town. Yeah, PA sucks. You don't get anything uh, for cheap up here at all. It's, it's been horrible. two years since I've seen a Lego sale in stores. <laughs> yeah, the best I see is rollbacks, but they aren't even rolling back that much. I once, the other day, I saw one the BB or uh, Dio or whatever on yeah. clearance for $2 off. <laughs> I'm Jeez. like, that's not clearance. <laughs> That's barely a discount. You just plastered a big yellow sticker on that shit and said it was... Oh, I was so mad. <laughs> Buy one oh, for the price of two. Get the second one absolutely free. <laughs> Squidman said he wanted a free trial first for the BFAB only fans, which is fair. <laughs> Definitely not going to happen. Let's see. Hey, Andrew. Mhm. Mm you know what I'm. You know what I'm going for. Don't even say it, then. Don't even say it, then. I got you. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. That's the stuff. That wasn't as bad today. No, it no, it was still something. It was better than nothing. Yeah, it, it fulfills my needs for now. <laughs> You're like, I'll let you know in twenty minutes when it needs to happen again. And maybe ten. That was a little bit weak. Mm. Yeah, I was, su I was surprised. That's like the least amount of noise it's made in a long time. Maybe the, the overuse of it is starting to wear it down. I know that might seem scary, but. I'm just, I'm thinking the worst possible outcomes just because I'm afraid. <laughs> I don't Wait, blame you. Didn't, you didn't spray it with WD-40, did you? I have not. And I don't think we have any of that at the house, so. would not assume. 
<laughs> yeah, Ingrid, I'm pretty sure he'll let us know more than likely, but it's probably a no. All he's going in there for is pizza, and then we'll run over there real quick. It's sad that the grocery aisle is so far from the Lego section. <laughs> You're like, I wish I could grab the milk, and then the next aisle, it's just I Legos. Mean, most really small children perfect. would try and eat Legos, so they may as well put it in the grocery section. <laughs> we should petition that for Lego to just tell grocery stores to switch their layout just for <laughs> all the kids. You know, that would make sense. That would help out business, you know, like uh, the mothers are just going in for, you know, milk and the kids just go to the grocery or uh, the legal section real quick to... Uh, they need to start putting the CMFs in a uh, frozen area so that they don't spoil. <laughs> oh, man. There are going to be boxes here soon. That would be crazy. I, I have not been able to find Series 21, and I still need the Islander for his hairpiece uh, for a thing I'm working on. Ooh, what are you working on? You mean the thing you're working on? Are you doing a yeah, stop motion? Oh, no, I'm, I'm pretty well done with stop motions on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, was that you? Man, those TikToks are amazing with that. See, Brick Studio OnlyFans, a normal uh, Brick Studio video is <laughs> Oh my gosh, geez. I don't even know who Brick Studios is. Does that help? Yes. This mind of mine says frozen CMFs need to be cheaper than fresh CMFs. I would agree with that. <laughs> Definitely. That should be a thing. But then again, you're paying for the luxury of it being frozen so that it doesn't spoil. So you got to consider that. Man, could you imagine thawing out Lego? There have what been is? quite a few people in the community that have put Zane minifigures in uh, ice cube containers. <laughs> I'm not even joking. You can look it up. I was about to say, I'm like, it doesn't seem out of like, like it seems like something that's happened, but I don't know how many times it's happened. Yeah, there have been a few people that put minifigures in the ground. Uh, there's at least two that I can think of off the top of my head. And then there was at least one person that put Zane in an ice cube container. And then froze them and then yep. put him in his Coca-Cola. I don't know about the Coca-Cola, but yeah. Oh, there was also somebody that used a taser on a J figure. <laughs> That's so unnecessary. Did it melt? Uh, it just did... severely burned it. What are they going to do with coal? Just put earth on it? Yeah, they, they dug a hole and put it in the ground for a few months. And then the last one is just throw it into a lava pit. Yeah, the only one they haven't really done yet is uh, fire, which they're, I'm pretty sure that there's been some people that burned Lepin, so that's close enough. Yeah, that's just m &R. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, we can burn a Kai minifigure. What was Lloyd's gift? All of them. He was, he was the Avatar. <laughs> He's the last airbender. He selected all of don't. the above. Just have the ability of them all. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm not too keen on my Ninjago knowledge, but didn't they turn Nia into a waterbender or something like that? See, I only know that because I bought one Ninjago set because it was on clearance. It was like one of the like. They called it like a classic or whatever, Samurai thing. I'm like, oh, since when did Nia actually become a ninja? Like, I know that she she was a waterbender in the sh in the movie, but I, I'm pretty sure that they turned her into one into the show before the movie came out. Man, yeah, I only where... remember like season one of the show. She's the water ninja in season five. Ah. Uh. <laughs> did you watch it all? Jeff? Yeah. Mm. He's the biggest fan. Jeff is the Ninjago god around these parts. He made like two music oh yeah, he, isn't Jeff like known for his like Ninjago? I would say known for it, but that's where my subscribers come from. Yeah, 
What's your most viewed video now? It's like 17 uh, million or some crazy. I don't think it's 17 million, but uh, I think it's like 12 million. <laughs> this lad has more views on one video than most of us will get in our entire lives. Yeah, like that's multiplies like multiple polls of my like best channels. <laughs> uh, let's check most popular. Dude, you have one at 13 million and another one directly under it at 12 million. 13.6 <laughs> million. Those numbers are still insane. That's got to be some of the most viewed like Lego content out there. <laughs> I don't know how many more Lego videos have more views than that. Oh, there's got to be a lot that have more than that. <laughs> yeah, the Zotsi Nambi guy probably. There might be okay, some there's older Jenny videos too. Yeah, his, there's a uh, his most viewed video is like a Lego Jurassic World game video. Zatsunabi? No, it was Jenny Bricks. There's a there's a random stop motion that has 380 million. Damn. I swear this was a lot less last year. So definitely. Jang's most new video is 36 million, followed by 19 million, then 15 million, then 8 million. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then there's Dude Perfect. Longest walk on Legos, 55 million. Yeah, this is a. Yeah, it, Mr. Big. Search Lego and then sort by um, views. Yep. Views, yeah. We got Mr. Beast with two of them. I built the world's largest Lego tower, and I used a working car made made out of Legos. It wasn't actually Legos. Every so now and then I notice that you use the word Legos, and it takes me off just a little bit. That's what the title says. He's put Legos in No, you just per you personally use the word Legos a lot. I know I do, but you don't have to point it out every time because it's no, probably no, not. I really, I really at this do. point, it's oh. not gonna change. I wish I it really did, do but... have to point it out because if I do, then you'll remember. That is probably true. What are you working on? I'm working on an Attack on Titan mock. Uh, I know it doesn't look like much right now because of the angle that you guys have, but uh, I'm getting. There. Well, we've made like zero progress tonight. What? What you talking about? <laughs> so I fixed this portion. I'm about to add the top right. part. Got that done. And then over here, I finished this part. Extra detail to come, but now I'm working on the mountain that comes up over here. Hopefully I have enough parts for that. Definitely going to be using these burp parts because that will help. Oh, Pearl of Lego is leg. Uh, leg guy. How many sub did you just lose from that phase? <laughs> oh no, school man, don't start. Can we get a live drop? Uh, later. Uh, not not later today, but um, when this is finished. Oh yeah, Adbrick Studios. I can't lose many subs <laughs> considering I don't have any. Unless, uh, like, you three want to unsubscribe right now and drop me from 82 to 79, but that doesn't really matter. Actually, that, that that's, like, giving me some good props if I actually have 82 subs. <laughs> I have 81, down. that's true. It's only 81. I have literally four channels with more subs than that. I have the channel I comment on. I have my reaction channel. I have the Brick Nation. Brick Nation's gained 50 subs in the last, like, since I posted that one community post, we gained 40 subs. Wow. Brick what Nation. Oh, it's up to 142 now. Wait, the one about the penguins? <laughs> That's the one about the penguin. <laughs> I'm so happy you remembered. <laughs> that was my favorite community post of all time. <laughs> you saw it? What are the comments on it? Oh, God. Dalek Bricks, thanks for sharing. Well, no, the, only, the only comments were from the three of us who were in the call. Wait, that was literally the three? 
Yeah, well, Marvin like, and, and you. But. I didn't know Dalek was in the call. Yeah, but that, oh, he was. He was in the call. <laughs> he said, bro, it's got four like scientists capture unique footage of seals attempting to mate with penguins. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Posted it on the first nation. Hey, I wouldn't say attempting. I would say success. <laughs> it's horrendous. Oh, it's such a horrendous video. Well, let's. I'm gonna sort this it channel by view count. Cause so if we're gonna ignore the um, one ultimate bricks video of 500k now, uh, literally Wayne Manor updates. That was you, right, Eric? Sir. Yeah. I got some Ninjago movie. I don't know who did this. Ninjago Monday. Ninja Monday. Two thousand views. Another. I think you I did one of those. I can't remember. I'm just saying, you controlled this channel because most of the most viewed videos are your updates to your Wayne Manor. They all have over a thousand views. I, and I wish those were on my channel because I didn't get any money from that. Jeff did. <laughs> that is true. Jeff did. Oh, okay. I mean, the majority of that was probably when it wasn't making any money at all. Yeah, that's probably true. Honestly, now that I look at it, man, we should have just kept up with it. Because <laughs> if we kept up with it, it probably would have started doing good. Because you never know. No one expects how to build a Lego sliding door is going to get 524,000 views. I mean, I, the thing is, Ultimate Bricks, he just blew the hell up, even on his own channel. Just like yeah. blew up. You know? I, mock videos, as long as they're good, eventually blow up, you know? <laughs> Dude, like, it's so did you acquire the Mo frozen lighter? Mock videos, I mean, like mock tutorials, like tutorials on how to do things seem to blow up. God, that's so funny. You look at the people in the sidebar: Ultimate Bricks, seven thousand subs; Eric World, two thousand, basically; Brick by Brick, forty-three thousand; My Random Mind, one point two k; Our Toy Worlds, one point sixteen. Whoever Store Motions is, eight point six. Lego Andrew, eighty-one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so. It's like just potential that's been floundered. <laughs> like I had such such potential and that's just folded. And you don't have potential when you don't put out any videos. Exactly my point. I folded and I love it. The more door videos you post, the more views you will get, my friend. That door video's got like 50 views or something. It's not. not I'm, gonna, I'm gonna videos. make a video on how to open a door. Literally, that's what's gonna be called how to open a door. You see, BFAB, you'll probably get more views than you've gotten in the past year on that one video. <laughs> see, no, one of the stupidest things I've ever made is one of my friends left his YouTube account logged into my computer. So I put posting moaning noises on his account just to piss him off. Yeah, and I need to see how much views it is because I know it at the very least to hit 250k. God dang! Is this you must really happy. Yeah, I'm gonna. If not, I'm gonna ask him to public it. I mean, that's a lot of mo moaning. Nah, he privated it. <laughs> he privated it. Why? Because now he just uses that channel for his music. They don't okay, call he should have made a new channel. For a <laughs> He should have. Well, when he has what? Uh, how many subscribers does he have on this channel? 1.6k? I can see him wanting to. Man, I'm just. You know, the thing is, like, if you're trying to grow your YouTube channel, people can take YouTube short. It, it is true if you're just trying to see a number. Like, we have to be more consistent with them. And they're the, like, it's the most random ones that blow up, right? So it's like, um,. You can do 50 videos and one will eventually blow up, guaranteed, you know? But it's like mm -hmm. you're inflating your sub count and your view count, but you're not gaining actually true subscribers. Picture them as, like, empty subscribers, you know? So Yeah. Like, all mine. <laughs> Just make these digital music videos again, then. Hey, you don't want to. Jeff, you don't want to save your channel again. <clears throat> Jeff, you had a monopoly. A goddamn monopoly. I don't really think I had a monopoly. He wasn't making money on them because it was all copyrighted music and content. I know, but this time he sings it. There's something broken, but time yeah. will fix everything.
This mind of mine says AWM is a door opening connoisseur, and I agree. I want to tell you the story of my friends. Beefhead, did so, you go to the Lego section? I did. Was there any Did you deal? get any frozen Lego? All I saw was a black lady following me around. Not to the matter that she was black, she just kept following me around. Ooh, was she your age? She was older. Ooh, you still and like older was, women, right? She was not attractive. Well, I don't know. Better than you can do nowadays. <laughs> Whatever I know, you decide to go fuck yourself. Uh, <laughs> That's a kid you're talking to. I am, he's a grown man deep down. What? Hey, at least I don't get swiped left on Tinder. You don't even have a Tinder. Exactly. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, that is true. I've never you can't not get not swiped. Yeah. You know what I want to do? I want to do a called I Swiped Right on All the Ugliest Girls on Tinder. You never do that. I probably wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you'd get person. like exposed after. They'd be like, look at this disgusting man, B Fab. Get canceled. I am a disgusting person, so I agree. It and it's not just your personality. Yeah, it's the face, too. And, yeah. Face, personality, and cock, unfortunately. Oh, my God. And most likely your hygiene as well. Your heavy. Now, my hygiene is great. Hmm. Every time you've shown your face, it looks like you haven't had a shower in over three weeks. <laughs> Hit the locker room now, be fed. Let's see, we got a one. No. Ingrid Lynn says, BFAB, don't be too picky or you'll die alone. Ingrid, I don't even think if he was like being completely unbiased, I don't think he'd get anyone regardless. I mean, maybe maybe some like foreign foreigner that's very desperate to get into the country would date him for a few years so that they can get their visa. Beef, have you could make some money being on ninety day fiance. <laughs> I mean, you'd still die alone, but at least you die with a little bit of money in your pocket. That's horrible, man. <laughs> And you're you're the one that's always like, oh, I, I need to get on, you know that that one show that we're not allowed to name. So there's your big break. You oh. want fame? You can get it. You talk about the Bachelor? Yeah, yeah the Bachelor. That's the one I'm talking about. How He's white for the one? Bachelor? Did you know that uh, the one person that ran away uh, actually broke up with uh, the person that they thought was their their one only? I have no idea what you're talking about. The this last season, uh, yeah, girl, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, so you mean you know everything that I'm talking about? Oh no, I mean I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, I was saying it's the last season is not going to help. This last season of The Bachelor, at I think uh, the lady ran away with someone she really likes, and then boom, she was like, "No, I don't like this person anymore." And I guess they were thinking, like, oh, she can come back on the show, but I don't think they're allowed to. I think the producer said, no, <laughs> you ruined the show for us. So, yeah, I think Beef would know all about shots that. fired. Yes, shots have been fired. I think I emptied the whole mag, actually. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have a comeback here soon. Oh, do you guys not he's hear me? He's being relatively time? quiet. No. I feel like he's Googling some words no, that he didn't guys, understand, so that he sounds smart. No, did you guys hear me? No. No. I was talking this whole time. What's your comeback? So, a good comeback. I feel insulted. <laughs> can you hear me now or no? I can hear you. No. Yeah. Can you hear me? Okay, she went to the guy named Dale that he liked. And then, uh, I guess recently, like literally like a week ago, they broke up. <clears throat> so Yeah. 
I guess but we're talking about you. We're the talking man about didn't your want comeback. To oh, my comeback? When I come backwards? No, no. Oh, my. Okay. AWM roasted you. I'm used to it. <laughs> Wait, could he not hear me when I roasted him? Probably not. Eh, I guess it's for the better. Ingrid Lynn gave you some very excellent advice. Uh, she says, B-Fab, you need to just stop saying you have a small hot dog in all your intros. <laughs> no small way to tain tain and you're, you'll be good. Let's see. She wanted some of that vegan pizza. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the lady. I wish we had a uh, two by five brick. Wouldn't that be great? No, it would suck. Why? Why, Why would that don't suck? You just the worst possible piece that you could ever create. Two by five. I literally if need you really it. Really need that to section. exist. You can no, take you don't one really need that. Right? I need it in this one section. I have to use all my two by threes and two by twos. Why do you need? If two you by really five? need those, take. What what is it? Three uh, two by four plates and three uh, one by one by two plates. Yeah. And then there Same you go. Way. It'd be stupid to make a two by five brick. There's absolutely no reason ever to do so. <laughs> it it helped out so much. No, it would be it dumb. Really, though. No. I mean, Why would they introduce that over minutes? literally any other useful piece? Yeah. Sorry, Eric, you've been outvoted. The council has decided your fate. BFAB needs to vote too. BFAB, what do you think? And Andrew? I agree with us. What do we need to vote on? Just uh, saying. Two by five plate. Would a sure. two by five plate be good? No, yes. a, two, a two by five brick, Eric. Or brick, yes. That's fine. No, I think, Andrew, that you should listen to my argument, which is that it would be a completely stupid and useless brick. Why would they introduce that over something like uh, I don't know what's what's a piece that we really need, Jeff? I need your I need your fast thinking. Um, three by three circles. Yeah, three yeah. by three circular plates. We have three by three yeah, circular. Can, or actually, you know, what we really need what we really need is three by three curved tiles, like the ones that would go with the two by two and four by four ones. That's what we really need. Hmm. Huh. Get in there. Boom. Let's see. Be that <laughs> neck. No neck, Ed. No neck, Ed. Find a nice girl who wants to wait till she's married and she gets a surprise on her. Oh my gosh. I read that comment to myself and that's why I was chuckling. And there's two reasons why that wouldn't work. Number one, I can't think of anyone that would date BFAB without that in their relationship. Uh, and second of all, <clears throat> BFAB, BFAB being willing to not do that during his relationship is just a joke in itself. <laughs> Let's see. Find a nice girl who wants to wait till she's married. Then she gets a surprise on her honeymoon. <laughs> with the way that Bfab talks about his previous girlfriends, I don't really think he's willing to have a serious relationship. Am I right, Bfab? I mean, they all look like Bonquisha, so. <laughs> bon That's not a very good argument because Bonquisha is the literal epitome of sexy. Why? Yeah, no, that is true. Those hips, though. Like, I'm not even gonna lie; those are some really nice hips. Boxy hips. I call her Foxy Foxy. Let's see. Uh, go on Christian mingle. Yes, Beefab, aren't you like partially Christian in a way? I don't. Doc like Samson either. makes a good point. He said, "If she is waiting, that's probably not a high standard on her list of things to care about." <laughs> 
I heard if you drag them, they also you can choose the better looking ones when you drag them. That's what I heard. Can anyone confirm that? What? I haven't tried it yet. Oh no! Don't. <laughs> For academic purposes, of course. What about a horse? Yeah. I, I, I don't think a horse is a good idea. <laughs> I do. I mean, a horse could help in the situation if need be. So. I would be willing to drive the vehicle uh, if you give me $50 and a paperclip. What are you going to do the horse? Like, legally drive? What's that? I can't. Jeff? Can't you, like, not legally drive? Me? Yeah. Well, as long as there's someone with a license in the car, I can. So if as long as B has a car, I don't how it works. I, I I'm 99% certain it, that's how it works. Yeah, you just need a permit, and then the person no, that yeah, I, not I, I have my permit. No, see, the the problem is though that you need to be with an adult that's over 21. I think at least in Massachusetts. I'm 22. Wait, <laughs> I, think we'll be all right. I mean, so as long as we, we plan this out sometime later in the year, we can make this work. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I will be... Uh -huh. and while, while we're out there, um, we can hit up a bank if, if you know where I'm getting at. Yeah, and you're going to rob the bank, so when I, you know you don't go to jail because you're a kid because that's how life works, you know? Yeah, exactly. So if we call, it's all your fault. Yeah, yeah. And if, if we don't get caught, then I live the rest of my life with other people's money. No, if for some reason we get away, I have to murder you. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, no, that's a great idea. You can't murder me because I'm the guy that hides the bodies you already killed. Uh, good point. You, you uh, don't know how to hide a body. You don't know the first thing about digging a grave. What do you know about digging a grave? <laughs> Why would I tell you? If you're good at something, you never do it for free. Gotcha. I'll hit you with the uh, prices later. <laughs> DM me on Discord for more information. <laughs> He's like, I yeah, no, Eric, do that thing in my Discord across the screen. Hit me up if you want prices. I'm a professional. I've been doing this for over five minutes. Nice. Hey, that's the... You didn't say it was under, so it could be like 50 years, you know? AW have been doing this for a grip. What are the yellow pieces for? Support. Mm. Does that one piece have a smiley face on it? Yes, he's smiling from underneath. He's uh, oh. helping the structure. He's happy He's about it. He's hiding his emotions on the interior. <laughs> exactly. Out of four. Come on. I need more bricks already. In Ingrid Wynn says, shallow graves are good. You can cover them up faster. Stop giving away my secrets, yo. Nope. But clearly, uh, you are a professional as well, so I respect, uh, you know, your opinions. Uh, seriously, though, Eric, what are those yellow pieces for? Oh, okay, never mind, you're hiding them. Yes, they go under... All these. Have you considered make this making this in like an architecture scale where it's very small but compact detail? That's or do why you want it to be overly this big? This thing would be massive if I was doing a minifigure scale. It's already micro scale. Yeah, so if it's already micro scale, it's not minifigure scale whatsoever, then why not make it in, in like an architecture scale? I don't know. This is my first mock in over a year. Don't blame the messenger. What if I want to? Nah. What if I want to? Nah. You can't. It's not 
Oh, shoot, I got to get the next update video out. Darn it. <laughs> I got to book it. Oh, what do I need? I just need once. Are you kidding me? Why is this not How long do you think that this is going to take you? So He's what? like three more years. <laughs> Hopefully not. It's going to uh, take like uh, two, two or three years. And then he's going to take it down the day after he finishes it. Obviously. I'm going to let the ground take it down. What did you do with your, uh, what was it? The Jurassic World one. The mansion. You broke it up and sold it? Yeah. I drop tested it and then I parted it out on my store. And I sold it. Oh. What, you drop tested it? Yeah. How I, I made a video about it a long time ago. You know I can't what? Oh, imagine I missed this. I wonder if I can download that video and make a uh, a short out of it. Probably can. You should have recorded it in a super slow motion speed. That way, you had like all of the frames of it falling. I think I was able to uh, slow it down. Yeah, but artificial slow motion isn't nearly as good as actual in filming. Uh, you know, slow motion. Why would I want it artificial? Artificial slow motion is when you go into editing and slow it down and just I make each that. frame play by slowly. It doesn't look as good. If you naturally record in like, uh, what what's the natural slow motion recording rate? It's like 120 frames or something like that? A second? Uh, that looks really smooth. Out of that petition. Let's see... Hey, Shane boy and stuff. How's it going? Thanks so much for coming. Uh, yeah, but I, but a decent rain and the cops, some um, looking what? What's going on? <laughs> oh, about digging a hole or something? Uh, light some of the Gwynwith. What? Candles? Okay. Nice. <laughs> um, I was thinking of actually. You know, most of the ones that I hide, I usually put them near like sewage plants or something like that, so it masks the smell. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> now just think about horrible things like, you know, in a dumpster. It just goes in a dumpster. That would be uh, pretty cut, like cutting corners. Um, someone would eventually find out. Oh, yeah, whatever. Like the homeless guy that sleeps in the dumpster every night. <laughs> he just comes home one night. Why is there someone else in my dumpster? <laughs> <laughs> this is my swamp. <laughs> Donkey, get on my swamp. Andrew, I'm craving yes, the door. Craving the door, hopefully it gives you a better go this time. That one oh, sounded that, a lot better than the first time. That one had a good pull for like pull back, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Still not perfect. It's but... very interesting how that door works. It's kinda unpredictable. Oh, it's completely unpredictable. It must be like something about the way the earth is rotated that like at certain times it's just killer. I Come on. Oh, is that on mute talking? Andrew, shut the fuck up. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> hey, uh, BFAB, that's, that's cool in R, but I'm on maximum render distance and I still can't find who asked. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to go back and jerking off. <laughs> okay. You go, girl. I just realized there's a kid here. I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> and he's Wait, like, I, I, I made it clear I was jerking off towards Eric, okay? Oh, thank you, sweetie. I appreciate it. You're welcome, honey. Eric's sensitive welcome. ears are not cut out for this sort of material. Oh my gosh. What I learned is if I want a lot of comments, like my average video with a thousand views probably has 30 comments. Like a thousand, like 5,000, I have like 30 to 50 comments, right? This video has 122 comments already and only a thousand views. <laughs> Let's see. I can't wait till tomorrow when it reaches like 200 views or 200 comments. 200 views. <laughs> 
I'll that go would, comment that, and just say something stupid. It'll blend in with all the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying okay. to think why this has so much traction, unless secretly I have like this whole like Bionicle fan base that I don't know about. <laughs> I'm just thinking, I wonder if they, like, somebody on, like, TTV or, like, their forum. I'm a part of their forum. I should go see I if, like, somebody cared. I don't understand how people could still like Bionicle. I mean, it was cool when I was younger. Like, I had all of the major Bionicles. But now that I'm older, it's it wasn't really that creative. Yeah, I, I, like, I had All of the pieces were pre-molded. The detail was all molded onto those pieces. It was, like, a handful of pieces. They looked cool, but they weren't really that creative. Yeah. It's called being a virgin. <laughs> what? Hey, I mean, I wouldn't go there because I still have my bionicles on display and I get all the women's. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Do that. Oh, frick, I can't, I can't say a bunch of this stuff to you. You know, I really do want to know what you were going to say. Uh, so, how, uh, rate me on a scale of 1 to 10 on how well I blend it in. What the fuck, B-Fab? I'd let you, I'd let Bionicle bend me over and do me like one of your French girls. You better shut your mouth up before I smack you with my <laughs> man meat. What? You're gonna what? <laughs> that was 10 out of 10 right there. Don't, don't, don't threaten me with a good time, you know? <laughs> no, no, what you gotta do? Go to the page and give me one of the hearts. <laughs> What do you want me to do to you? One of the YouTube like hearts from the creator. Please put that comment with the heart so everyone knows you saw it. Oh yeah, no, I got you. I'll do it. <laughs> but wait, did you just comment that on this video? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh my motherfucking god, you are a beautiful human being. <laughs> Go upload it. Come on, man. It's a picture of like Timmy Turner. That's my profile picture. Pin, pin, I don't know comment. why. For this video, it says views are up when it's about average. It says views are up more subscribers are than usual are interested in this. No, they're not fucking interested in it. They're, they're <laughs> surprised. That everyone, like all the Bionicle fans are like, yo, dog, you see what he says? And they're like spreading the news. So They're like, let's go beat his ass. <laughs> see you, Ingrid. Thanks so much for coming. Have a good night. Ingrid, see you. Don't do cocaine still. I believe in you. Oh. Oh, the comic got held for. Of course it would. Man. I'll approve it. <laughs> I'll approve it. <laughs> I, I love. I love getting that permission. Just a comic that totally shouldn't be approved. I'll approve it. <laughs> it's okay. I'm a man. I take it like a man. No, no, you take it like a man if you pin the comment. Oh, fuck that. No, I don't want to be that type of man. Coward. Dude, there's, I'm a dude the best part about it is it would probably be one of the most seen comments on all your comment section because everyone is just commenting on this. Everyone wants to share their opinion. It's a blog post. And then they would see instantly the pinned comment. I'm going to smack you with my man me. I would let Bionicle bend me over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. That's, that's some juicy stuff right there. I'm still trying to see where my like, my video got traction from. But I'm looking like at TTV's Discord, message boards, and I'm not seeing it. So maybe YouTube is just trying to recommend it so I get like a lot of hate and get ripped a new asshole. I don't know. Like, Or maybe Secretly had a whole like Bionicle fan base that I didn't know of. <laughs> I've never uh, heard of any Bionicle fan base, at least in There's a lot years. of people I've never seen comment on my videos, right? So either they're really <laughs> triggered and I had like closeted Bionicle fans or uh, some person like a forum is probably like, yo, check this out, dog. This guy, he, uh, he's talking shit about Bionicle. We about beat his ass. You know, I don't know how that works. But. It could, and I have no proof to back this up, really. But the meme community has been on a raid lately about Bionicle, so that could be a reason. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure. I have yep. seen the Bionicle memes, but like the yeah, Bionicle memes aren't memes. aren't close to the level of a man has fallen into the river in Lego City. Uh, yeah. Mm. I did find that funny how Lego. The just Lego ads were memes for a time. That just, meme died hey! so hard because it was so overused. 
Oh yeah, it was overdone to hell. But when it started, it, it was beautiful. We had something beautiful, mm-hmm. and then we we didn't appreciate it. We kept we abusing it. power. I gotta stop following Lego auction uh, Instagrams because then I'm gonna start spending all my money. <laughs> There's one auctioner who sells what like money? custom figures and stuff, and he's given me decent like bulks of like superhero figures I didn't have in the past. Like I think I got like eight to ten superhero figures for like I think the average was like three a piece, and I don't think many figures really go for that price, especially when they're like Two Face, Catwoman, and like all the others. The, uh, the 2012 well, like Two Face. Catwoman goes for pretty cheap. Well, uh, uh, there was only one Lego Batman movie, two one, and it was because it was the Orca from the series, and I really wanted that. Or like, I really wanted that one. Yes, Goodman says he can't figure. find the comment. It's a really nice figure. That's why I grabbed it. The, when the face the print is the most useful thing because you can put it on literally any of the other costumed figures and make them look terrifying. See, I did that with one of the Atlantis figures. I haven't, like, there was, like, the Atlantis, like, hammerhead shark figure who had, like, a transparent oh, yeah, one with teeth. I love that mold. I, th- I threw that one into the lizard suit to make a Godzilla. I saw um, someone had put it on the uh, the dinosaur suit guy or the lizard suit guy, and it mm-hmm. reminded me of the old Richa mascot. What mascot? The, the Brick Show. Do you anybody remember oh, that channel? Yes. <laughs> Didn't they get like what terminated did they get banned for? For sucking too much dick. No, they got uh they got terminated for posting images with the copyright uh, logo on there. Yeah. Oh, so they like they would yeah. like edit the copyright like logo out of it. They like, did that with one photo. They just but... like plain out showed the images no matter what. Oh, so they were like super leakers, basically. I'm pretty, wasn't it the, so Brian the Sofie, video? Who has his own channel? He leaked the stuff, and he just didn't care. So, it wasn't his wasn't channel? It so he didn't the, know. It was around when the UCS uh, Porg had come out, or no, when it leaked, uh, and they made a video about it, and that was the video that had finally done it, I believe. God, I remember the brick show. Yep. I remember it all the time, man. Those were the Lego reviews back in the day. I would personally say the ones back in the day I watched more than Brick Show. Brick Show was if I watched anything like that was like Ninjago City or something. But if I was going Star Wars, I was listening. To, well, <laughs> I was watching Solid Brick Studios, otherwise known as Lego Boy One, Two, Three, Four, Five, Six, Seven, Eight. We all know you weren't watching. You're watching Brick Queen, so. I actually had no idea who that was until you introduced me to them, and I was in the middle of the beef. I'm glad that I could help you find your true love. That was how I met MNR through that beef. <laughs> I was just like, oh, God. That's how Ryan found out who I was in general. Seriously? Because, That's yeah, funny. Because so, it, so I had been subbed to Ryan since, like, you have those like, little pack openings, series 12 pack openings, right? It doesn't matter. I thought that uh, was but, Just Do Good's videos. No, no, Just Do Good. He's known me since he was, like, 2000. So mm. it's just pain to see Jeff too good grow, you know. But uh, so Ryan ended up commenting on his with his gaming channel. Uh, so I was doing a live stream, right? But this is before, like, you know, I knew who, like, I knew who Ryan was, but I didn't care. Like, I, I've never been a fan of Ryan, like, content wise. He's a friend, but I don't like his. I don't freak out when I see Ryan, right? Um, mm-hmm. so I remember uh, this was after I dropped my Brick Queen rant, and it did really well in the Lego community, and uh. All of a sudden, I was doing a live stream, and a, a channel called Opulent commented and said, you should keep doing more rants. And I'm like, okay, thank you, Opulent. Appreciate it. And then he, all of a sudden, I see, uh, oops, wrong account, and it was m and Productions. Now, this time, we had like 40,000 subs. Mm-hmm. I think it was around 40,000. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's m and Productions. How's it going, man? How did you find my channel? He's like, yeah, I keep doing these. And then you know, I dropped my second one after, dropped my – Third one after everyone, I guess, had a call and like, yeah, let's do this type of video. Ryan backed out and then dropped his like months later. So, Mm -hmm. yeah, with Ryan, the videos I watch from him, but he hasn't released many recently. But he dropped the, he used to drop like top top ten videos, top twenty or whatever. I liked his videos of those. Um, He still does them. He just doesn't do them often. I feel like he's covered like every topic that needs to be covered. You know, that's true. He's kind of ran through the course on those, so that kind of sucks. But um, 
Man, his leaks, I love. Every time you post some rumor video, I'm on top of it because I want to see what he knows because obviously at this point he knows. He. I kind of want to talk with him and just one-on-one -on -one and inside my mind know how he does it or who who these people are or how – not you because I want to leak it. Know, ever, he never you, tells anyone? He doesn't talk to me. Like, I have ideas who, like, some of these people are, but I don't know, like, who specifically, right? Because, I mean, I have leaker sources too, but they're not, like, Ryan leaker sources, you know? Like, Ryan yeah. saw the 2021 summer Star Wars the images of them, you know? So he had legit images. Yeah, he did, yeah. That's crazy. I didn't know he had images. He... I thought he just had rumors. No, I mean, the reason why, like... A lot of people are angry is that for that reason. And I, I do and I don't understand because, I mean, like, people we can see that stuff all the time and share information, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think that's an issue if you're not showing the actual images. But that's just my opinion. So, that, so that's crazy because that means he has the images, but that means – does that not mean that the uh, – how has another leaker not leaked those images out? Because it, I'm assuming Ryan got it from a Lego employee, so – it's got to be someone up there in the Lego yeah, employees. No, it, it totally is. Yeah, it is. But that's crazy that they'd risk everything just to show MR productions well, of all people. They're, they're a fan of his channel or something. So, yeah. Got to be. So, is he paying for the images? Because if he is and he's not showing them on his channel, what would that be for? Or is he he's just he's showing the, him the images? No, he's Credit. not paying for them. They just like him. So, that's basically. Oh. Because if he was paying, I was be like, yeah, it's totally probably worth it. Because he got like 200,000 views or something on his rumor video. He gets numbers. So I wouldn't doubt it. But yeah, no, it's just that's really... Well, especially the fact now that he... I know that he had images. That is really cool. That like that Star Wars wave is actually the Star Wars wave we're getting. Because that's... My pockets are going to be hurt. Yeah. Probably the pictures of the helmets. That's that, that hasn't appeared. So it's going to be a Royal Guard and a Darth Vader, right? No, it's a Scout Trooper and Darth Vader. Scout Trooper and Darth Vader. All right. Did Either way, I kind of... Darth Vader bust as Lando and Darth Vader. Didn't we get a Darth Vader bust as like a promo or something? We got a Darth Vader helmet. It was a Comic Con, I think. Yeah. Well, no, I think was it. I Wasn't it, was it Star Target. Wars? No, I think it was. I think you're right. I think it was Comic Con. But it was also know. available at Target with big um, No, I th no, I think it was Star Wars Celebration. It was wonderful. Yeah, but. Um, and I think the main people that have the issue is that he is in land and he has confidential images in his possession. While I can understand why Lego would be accept, I don't ex think a strike was necessary. Mm, technically, I kind of think like he was the one to leak that to the public. I think if someone yeah. leaked it before him and then he was able to quote them as the one who leaked it, it would have been fine. But, like, yeah. you look at all these leakers, they're, like, reported by m &R Productions. So, that kind of looks really bad on him. I did kind of see LEGO not supporting him in, like, the LAN, like, giving him free sets because I mean, of that. Yeah, if they want to, they can remove him from LAN or whatever it's called. But they shouldn't be able to copyright him because he didn't share images He's That's true. Like a copyright rumors. strike doesn't make sense. Well, he did share confidential information, and he was the one to reveal it. So I do think that he was in the wrong. But it would have been very oh, yeah, easy he was for definitely him to in the wrong. But him. there's nothing that they could legally do because he didn't really share images. Yeah, they he, basically have to sit there and go, "Okay, what the hell is going on?" Because we okay. have. That they must be like this YouTuber. Yeah, of course he leaked the information. But we, they, I think they're not as worried about MNR as they are about the person who's actually giving him the information. Because MNR isn't going up to Lego, so the Lego world. Well, I know a lot more inside details, but I can't say so. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. But it's just, are we on the right track though? Or you can't say. <laughs> I can't say. Uh, I can't okay. Say. okay. 
<laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Look at that. I mean, if he's not asking for this information or these images from this person, then he's not really doing anything. This person is just giving these images true. to him regardless. Yeah, they're kind of just go. He just opens so his Discord that, one Ryan day. Reached out, Ryan reached out to like five different people. Oh, okay. I could also kind of see it, like, if all of a sudden he opens Discord one day and it's like, here you go, I can see him being like, <laughs> and just dropping the video, because anyone would at that point. I mean, I was surprised, like, clearly, you know, without, I okay, I'm just trying to think of what I can and cannot say. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I mean... I was surprised he was able to get the summer images that early. I mean, even like people like David were like, Ryan's lying. And then this happens. He's like, nope, he's not lying, I guess. So. Yeah, because now that the, the threat is the main reason it kind of confirmed it. Because when when Lego threatens being like, take that down, it kind of proves in a way that, yeah, those leaks were, yeah, were true. Lego, no, Lego did it. Lego was just stupid. They literally revealed it by denying it, by threatening to take it down, right? So he, only like if they would have really really taken it down, people would have noticed. But by him just now making a, a public tweet about it, it made it, it confirmed it. So <laughs> to not be only fair, could they really legally not do anything, it. but they confirmed it in a way. Yeah, correct. To be not fair, I don't think that it really is going to hurt them in the long run if people know what's coming at this point. I think oh, it just no. adds but to the If they were so worried about it not being like, publicized yet, they just kind of did like a 180. Well, no. Yeah. See, I think the problem is that they're like, I think I would assume that honestly probably the uh, bigger issue comes from Disney and Star Wars telling Lego that they don't want this information. No, out I, no I have, I, and this is 100%, I have intel people inside Disney that talk to people that say that it is not uh, Disney going after Lego. It, the thing that I was told, and this is not from Ryan, so I don't mind talking about this, is people that are in the Lego ambassador network complaining to Lego, and that's why this is happening. Oh. Other yeah. people who are like, no, nah, he's doing messed up things. He he makes us all look bad or something like that, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, that's what happened. So basically, it's people in the Lego Ambassador Network complaining. Uh, so, yeah. I can. Who? Uh, I don't. I don't want. Mm. See, I can't say. The thing is, like, I can't say much. So, like, no. I. Uh, I know that I talked to somebody, a really reliable person, who said he talked to someone at his contact at Disney, and he said Disney's not the one complaining this time. Um, he said literally, this is Lego. Uh, the Lego ambassadors individuals just like freaking out uh, and complaining on Ryan because Ryan, I guess, always keeps he keeps getting reported to the Lego ambassador network, and people didn't like that and reported him for that. So, see, the thing is, I feel with that Lego, they're they're kind of pushed into a corner because Ryan is probably their strongest spokesperson. Like, I would say there's debatable few that have more of a power among the lego community that's like at least on youtube and stuff other than ryan so when you put it in perspective they could take it away as a punishment but that would look bad on them yeah because but if because he's like the top of the top that's how like people were when like i don't know when like pewdiepie was getting messed up and stuff they were like no you can't do that to pewdiepie it's they're really stuck. They just got to deal with Ryan, and I find that really funny. <laughs> but they're Ryan, just like... is, Ryan is one of the most powerful members. I mean, he got people to buy the 501st Battle Pack, one of the most popular Lego sets ever. Uh, so Ryan has succeeded in a lot of ways. You know, at least amongst uh, Brickset users, the 501st Battle Pack isn't even the most popular set of that or the most owned set of 2020. Wow. What was That's that Ryan Battle Pack? Ah. Uh, well, I guess, yeah, earlier on in the year and stuff. But because a lot of people couldn't get a hold of the set because one person would buy five. Yeah. And that's why only one user would have it. Well, instead, with the Mandalorian one, those five, four or five would go. I do think that there is a lot of overestimation of the popularity of Iron Man. 
Like, yes, it's popular, but I don't think it is that popular. Yeah. Hmm. Welcome, you ukulele kid, by the way. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, ukulele kid is saying that he thinks Just Do Good is the top. And I kind of would say yes, but, like, it's one of those things where Just Do Good, he says, like, an opinion or two, but he doesn't hold a stance like Ryan. Ryan will sit there and be a point into people, you know? He will, he, if he has an idea, he'll put it out there, and he'll put it out there multiple times to make sure it's out there. And I respect it because he knows how to use his platform. I'm just thinking yeah. about. Mm, I'm not a big fan of just do good. It's been not not like not like as a person. I think that he's perfectly. Fine. It's just I don't care for any of his videos. That's true, I guess. But a lot of people do care for his videos, and I think yeah. that's something you can't really scoff at. So. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, all I gotta say is it's just, yeah, it's just, yeah, I, I watched Ryan's videos for a long time, got to meet Ryan, talked to him on numerous occasions at this point, to the point where it's like we're on a first ba name basis type thing, but it's just like, you know, I like the way he is in his videos, it's kind of how he is outside of the thing. It's like he's, in a way, he's, uh, He's to the point. He doesn't bullshit around. And a lot of YouTubers like stretching their ideas out or not being too controversial, but Ryan will always push the boundary. And I think that's what people like about him because that's what I like about him. Uh, he, is the only, he, he was the first Lego YouTuber I ever saw actually complain about a product. I mean, it, it's very rare. Funny product. Well, that is true. Yeah, Justin does keep everything chill. Yeah, Justin is so professional. <laughs> like talking to him it was like it, it was like it was like a business meeting. He came in there, oh hi Andrew, I've never met you before, but it's very nice to meet you. I'm like just do good, it's chill. <laughs> like, I appreciate you, man, that you even recognize that I was here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I can see why Lego loved Justin because he kind of just, or not, because he kind of just embodies what they would want from a a content creator. <laughs> So now the only Lego YouTuber I was really a fan of that I still haven't met is uh, Solid Brick Studios. But BFab says he knows him, or at least has talked to him, so I feel eventually I'll be able to meet the man I've been watching for fucking 11 years now. <laughs> so. uh, go to a convention that he'll go to once COVID's over. That is true. That is probably my best chance. Didn't you say your mom is uh, in uh, <laughs> medical? Is your mom nah. No, she's a state worker. She Did I tell you she got her? Why are you asking? Just vaccine-wise? Yeah, because I would feel like she would got her vaccine. She got the first one recently because of um the way uh, um she's a state worker or whatever, state employee. She was able to be pushed to front of the line. So yeah, she got her first one. I get, I'm able to get one being a frontline like worker, essential worker, front mm -hmm. fast food or whatever. I February end of February, I can get mine. I think they messaged that it's February first for me, like for essential. <clears throat> yeah, my stepmom will be getting hers on Wednesday, so she's super lucky. Luckily, it's not mandatory for uh, government workers or federal workers to get it yet, so. I might find out next week, potentially. Oh, we're going to tell you guys, you got to get it now. So I, I might get it uh, potentially uh, next weekend then. So that'll be interesting. Mm -hmm. 
But I, I'm glad that they're not uh, mandating it yet because supposedly there's like a bunch of issues still with it. <clears throat> I saw some. It's it's one of those things that's. I don't think it's more of a side effect. I think it's just people having allergic reactions. Yeah. Because that's very common with any sort of medication. Your body will just, some people's bodies just don't respond properly to things. And yeah, because yeah, my mom was scared to take it recently because she just had an, an allergy to a medicine that made her, uh, her like face puff up. So she's like, why do I want to dare put the thing into my arm if I literally just had a random pill and it caused my face to pop up? Who knows what yeah. this vaccine can do? So that, <clears throat> I don't know. Where would be the closest uh, Lego convention to where I am in Connecticut? New Jersey. Oof. It's a bit of a drive. That's one of those things I would only agree to go if, like, you guys were going. And then, like, me and Jeff would carpool <laughs> or something <laughs> so I wouldn't have to go alone. <laughs> Is there a convention in uh, Massachusetts, Jeff? Do you know? Um, I don't know. I'm not a big There's one. There's probably a New York one. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't think New York exactly. I think New Jersey is probably the biggest one. It's just like Newark or something. Uh, I think it has. Newark, New York. Somewhere. Or, I feel if I go to one of those conventions, I'm just going to try to buy a bunch of old sets that I don't own. I'm just going to go there with like... <laughs> a grand <laughs> come home with mad lego yeah the first convention that i ever went to i just went to pretty much buy at uh, the seller booths there i was like oh yeah uh i got what i wanted and we made a whole trip out of it we drove all the way up to uh virginia uh to just go there and then luckily we went to um washington dc after so that was pretty mm. cool but, yeah I definitely want to go back to the convention and uh, take advantage of the area around it because I never did that for Philly and uh, Virginia. I never went to Washington, D.C. Yeah, me and, me and my friends, it sounds like a joke, but me and my friends, we love Minecraft. And they're having a Minecraft festival in Florida that was supposed to be this year, but it's going to be next year because of COVID or whatever or the year after. And we're just like, yo, we're going to go to the Minecraft festival in Florida because my friend has family in Florida we can stay at. <laughs> it's like, yo, if I go to a Minecraft festival, bet I'll go to a Lego convention. Nice. My friend wants to go to a Comic Con, but I don't know. I went to several in the area. I went to the Rhode Island one and one in Boston. So I, I don't I know with, what, if they'd be good. I went with one on like the first day or whatever. Um, because a friend of mine uh, wanted to go and get Christopher Lloyd's autograph. So mm. I went to some Back to the Future panel, which is cool. Nice. Let's see. I'll take leave to go to the convention. Nice. Yeah. You probably built up quite a bit uh, by now. After my six months, I had 15 days of leave, and that was a free 700 bucks right there. Let's see. Uh, I bought an old creator set for uh, my first and only Lego convention experience. The set is a fire truck that's similar to in a scale to the creator expert cars. Hmm. Wow. That's cool. I know exactly what you're talking about. I don't. Yeah. It's big. It's a creator fire truck that's about in scale with the expert ones. It's not actually quite in scale. Uh, it's maybe the same width, but I think it's a lot shorter than it should be. Hmm. I had the option to buy it for 20 bucks. I didn't, I didn't care. Gotta care more. I, but I don't care. I still don't. <laughs> I need that fire truck. Why do I need that fire truck? See, I'm starting to get to the point with Lego where it's like, yeah, of course it would be nice to get this set and that set and this set, but it's like, I don't have space. <laughs> I don't have space for things, but I buy them anyway. That's the one thing I'm really... I think, was it AWM or you, Jeff, who you, the other... We said if you were going to take apart stuff, put them in bags. Yeah, that was probably me. Uh, yeah. Me. See, the, with the pe right now. <clears throat> it depends on sets, the set. Because, like, I took apart, like, one of, like, the solo movie Spears, and I'm like, I'm never going to want to display that shit ever again. Well, so I took the... 
Which theater? It was like the one that um that came with Han and the girl. Oh, that's a great set. I thought it was cool, but am I ever gonna want to rebuild it again? Not really. Yeah. <laughs> you say yeah, but yeah. Um, I rebuild that all the every day. See, there's other sets like one. The, some of the ones that are like in the list of like what are gonna be like the next to be taken apart. Like I have the uh, the Rogue Shadow from uh, Force Unleashed, like the 2008 set on my shelf. If that gets taken apart, that's going in a bag. Because I'm gonna want to display that later, but you think that that set is better than Hans Landsfeeder from Solo? <laughs> yes, because I yeah. love Force Unleashed. Solo must be better, obviously. Because I'm sitting here looking at my shelf. Oh, actually, the ATST Raider would probably be next in line, actually, to be taken apart. Because I don't really care much for the Raider. I want a normal ATST. But I don't have the the Rogue One one, which is like, is that the best ATST? What do you think's the best ATST? Uh, I would I would say that one. That one, because well, I kind of want to buy it. I, I would probably still say the Mandalorian. It's yeah, it's I, I don't know. I just looking at everything else, how it's just a basic model of the main things. Having the radar looks a little odd, but it's fine. It blends in. It's like most of these sets I don't want to take apart. I guess the uh, the U.S. Lander that I have. The what? It's like the hun. It was like the hundred dollar space uh, Apollo oh, like eleven. Oh, the Lander. Yeah, the that that kind of is out of place in my Star Wars section, so that may be taken I, apart. But that will be bagged. I can't decide if I want to buy that. I have all the other space sets, the advances, the Iron Five. Like, That's the, that was a birthday present from one of my friends, and it was one of the nicest birthday presents I've gotten in years. <laughs> so I'm just like, wow, something I probably would have never bought, but it looks very, very nice. Well, but if you would buy the Saturn V. <laughs> That's probably the greatest set like was ever made. Saturn V. My friend has it, and it looks very nice. It's just that's the space shuttle, right? That's yes, really yeah. tall. <laughs> yeah. Or she has it as a she has it as a centerpiece in her living room, like just on the side in a corner, and it's very nice. I, wait, 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 wait! You're gonna have to clarify there. You said it was the centerpiece, but now it's in the corner. I know what I meant. It's just it's on the coffee table, but then I realized their coffee table isn't in the center like everyone normal. It's to this side. Yeah, it's just on the mantle. <laughs> But it's like I look at the sets that I have built up here. Uh, 2008 gunship. That's not getting taken apart. 2008 or 9 um, ATTE. Not getting taken apart. Uh, 2010 ATAT. Unless I get the 2021, that's not getting taken apart. Uh, the best TIE, tie fighter, um, Imperial Shuttle, X Wing, Y Wing. Which, which one? Best TIE fighter? Uh, 2000 was uh, 1817. Oh, solo one? Yeah. Yeah, okay. In my opinion, that's the best one. And oh, I have I, the I, X I agree with you. I just want to make sure. Yeah, I have the X Wing from the same era. I have the Rogue One uh Y Wing, which I think is the best one. Uh Best Spin Duel is sitting there in the back. I have the twenty the tw the twenty nineteen, I think, or twenty eighteen, the Millennium Falcon from Rise of Skywalker. Uh I don't know if that's the best one, but it looks nice. I think it's the best one. Yeah, it's it's really good. So I wouldn't. I'm not thinking about taking that part. I got the the Razor Crest. That's not going anywhere. Um, I mean, I think you could safely take it apart now that it's dead. That is very sad. They may release the Lego set, one of the coolest show, ships, like most iconic ship in Mandalorian, up to a point, and then boom, it's there. It's a very nice set. Then there's the Rogue Shadow, and then. I have this other, the other shelf, which is the new stuff. I got Poe Dameron's X-Wing, which is really nice. Um, which one? The newest one with the Knights of Ren. Oh, oh. oh that's, that's that's the lame one. <laughs> of course. I, I don't know, it's fine. But I, I, yeah, but it's like I you look at it. Really colored schemes of both of the other ones. I have the, the black um, Kylo Ren shuttle. That's going to be there for a while because I think I just, that looks... I just got that recently. Yeah, that one's very beautiful. The Tainted Four, that one's probably going to sit there for a long time. 
Um, and then I have like the BB-8, Dio, Baby Yoda, the helmets, Sesame Street. And I kind of just sit there and I'm just like, go, yo, the space is out. I don't have any nope. more space. I'm going to be honest. I think the Lunar Lander probably fits in what Sesame Street does. Oh, well, I can actually I'm not. Fuck it. I'll do a slight tour. Turn. L let me be the main camera for a bit. There. <laughs> if you don't mind. So as I was saying, I'm going to unplug my computer so I can hear you guys. Yeah. Okay, so. Top shelf, uh, Venator, ATAT, -AT, Snow Speeder, Batman, uh, whatever, the Batmobile, X Batwing. I don't know what's Batman, but, uh, yeah, but it's what, like, what's these, behind they, the TIE Fighter? What? What's behind the TIE Fighter? TIE Fighter, that's the ATSD Raider. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, that's kind of just fits in the spot, so that's why I'd be like, oh, I'd just get the normal ATSD and put it in place. Um, landers in the corner, ATT, the attack on site, and then a bunch of figures displayed um, underneath it. See, this is the one that would probably be the first to go, the Knights of Ren shuttle. Um, I don't like that, man. But it's like I have a little bit of space. I have the Mandalorian thing, and I got a set that was free, just a little city set. Um, oh, that's your new corner. set you built? See, because in the corner over here is where the other ones are. I can't really move my camera anymore, but the Sesame Street's in the corner over there. The helmets, I'm going to stack up like a t uh, totem pole, which I think <laughs> looks really nice. And then the Baby Yoda. And I hope the R2-D2 fits up there, but if the R2-D2 doesn't, that's going to be very sad. And then the main shelf, which is the one that looks Razor Crest, Rogue, uh, Shadow, Millennium Falcon, Y-Wing, A-Wing, X-Wing, Vestman Duel. So it's kind of like, I'm kind of at the situation where it's just like, ain't no way in hell I'm, I have like the most iconic of most of it, you know? Yeah. So it's kind of, kind of hard to say I want to take one off and put the other ones back in. <laughs> nice. I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out soon as your oh. degree is finished and you find a job. Dude, I can't wait to have like a basement that's just a whole wall is just for display. Do you guys have no. a basement right now? No. You don't have a basement in your parents' house? Is it a house or an apartment? <laughs> Damn it. Well, I wanted to mute my mic, but I realized the camera's on, so I'd still look stupid. But um <laughs> uh we have a we have a house, but it's a cellar. And it's a one floor, but it's very spacious, like it has a decent amount of land. So it's like the living room is so much wasted space. Like the our living room is the size of like the average like living room multiplied by like two or three. Um, but then it's like there's the master bedroom, which is the size of a, like a regular living room. <laughs> and then the two like 12 by 12 rooms. And kitchen stuff but gotcha. it's like yeah underneath there's the cellar we have an out a cellar that connects outside but gotcha. hmm. yeah it's it's nice but like it's kind of like one of those things that's like if i had my own room it'd be no problem because hmm. he's actually sleeping right there i didn't even know <laughs> <laughs> If my brother wasn't in this room with me, it would be so much easier to have all my Legos in here. I wouldn't have to put them in the other room. Yeah. And uh, especially because the closet is actually his dresser. While my dresser is in the middle like a normal human. So and so I would have had a closet, a space that I would have turned into straight shelves. Yeah. Instead of just the one shelf that's there that is a comic books and video games. But yeah. I've got that's... my dresser in my closet, so I'm not a human being or a normal human being. No, did you have the dresser in the closet? Yeah. Why don't you just use a closet like a normal human being? Just <laughs> put the clock uh, there's hangers sure. and stuff. So this is my closet. Big old walk in. Okay, so you do you do use it like a normal closet. It's just you yeah. needed more room. No, this closet's big. It's pretty big. You know, I have all my military gear on this side, and then got my civilian okay. shirts over there. That's and... a lot. I don't have that much clothes. <laughs> Jeez. I, 
I barely use all that. It, I don't know why I have so much. I got to go through it. And it's like five pair of sneakers on the top too. <laughs> like, no. It's like I have, I have my sne- my. What size shoe are you? Quick question. Twelve. I'm a fourteen. Yeah. It is impossible to find shoes anywhere. I have one pair of Nikes that I've used for the last four years, and then because they've survived, they're not breaking down or anything. So I have. Yeah. <laughs> the Nike, my work shoes, my moccasins, and then the military. Yeah, these ones, uh, these ones are eleven. It, it's weird for military stuff. Like, uh, it's one inch smaller than what your feet are. I, I don't know. And there's, it's spacious in there still. So I, it's very it's, weird. It's like bowling shoes. These if you ever had that problem? No, bowling shoes are like uh, a size yeah. down or a size two sizes yeah. down sometimes. I gotcha. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, you have you have a nice spacious space to yourself. Are you just the basement? No, this is the uh, pretty much attic portion in a way. Oh, because uh, I would have never guessed you were upstairs because there's no damn windows. There's a window over there. <laughs> I would have no. Oh, the curtains, man. I'm... Yeah, <laughs> that leads to the attic. It's about another okay. thirty feet that way, pretty much. That is pretty dang big. Yeah. Wow, you got a nice space to yourself up there. My own bathroom, too. That is... I never leave. <laughs> My parents would be like, why aren't you come? You have the whole couch set up and everything. Yes. I wish. I have TV set up right next to my bed. It's uh, it's good. And I, I redecorated the room because, you know, I had everything over there because of um, all the... Uh, all the... Oh, my gosh. Uh, the store. You know, I had all that over there. And then... I was I took all that out because I didn't need it anymore because I sold the store and now I just have mm-hmm. more space back there. But yeah, um, they ran out of space downstairs, so they had me take up all of this. So is this where all your Lego is currently? Yeah, everything is here. Like this is my collection over here. Okay. Yeah, and then I got the the specialty sets back here that hopefully will sell eventually. And then a bunch That's of random bunch. parts up there. Yeah, a bunch just sealed and stuff still. Yeah. Okay. And a random Mario set on the ground. My uh, so this... wings have been playing with that. I played with it for like five seconds pretty much. I was like, oh, I already won. Oh, yeah, no, I, I, the, the Mario set was garbage. I don't <laughs> like the Mario. This mind yeah. of mine says he's a size 16 in shoes, which sounds Horrendous. I can't find anything for a size 14. Most stores carry up to like 12 or 13. So yeah. it's like, I can't find a 14. I could not imagine. Because like, even, I don't even think like Nike's website sells up to 14. <laughs> like, how the hell do you get shoes? Who's mine of mine? Are you like 6'5"? Or are you yeah, you'd have, you gotta be a basketball player with that size shoes, man. Or a swimmer or something. Oh, AWM's back. Welcome back. Thank you. I feel appreciated. Don't you have school man tomorrow? Yes, I do. That's what I was going to say. I'm like, we kind of, I can't be going for too much longer because I'm trying to be to sleep by like midnight. Yeah, Mr. Jeff, he probably has school too tomorrow. Yeah, my first class is 925 a.m. So, but that's, but that I'm also trying to make sure that that class yeah, isn't in yeah. person and I don't have to drive. Six, six. Yeah, that makes sense then, man. Jeez. Okay, yeah. Being a six two, maybe six three, I'm kind of sitting there just like, damn, I'm tall. Six six. That's like a dream height for me, man. <laughs> I always damn. wanted to be six four, but I'm like six two and a half. And <laughs> cause like at six four, you're like this high over everyone. You could go to any concert you want and see everything. Him, he's sitting there like this, enjoying every second of every <laughs> concert. Oh, you're every, lucky. Every fence, yeah. <laughs> I feel bad for the person that has to sit behind you in the movie theater. No. Nah. <laughs> that is Ooh. true. Let's hope he doesn't grow his hair into like a, a mohawk or something where it sticks up even further. Oh, yeah, just like a big old afro and such. Yeah. This is my mind. Are, are you like 18 or are you 6'6 at like 16 years old or something? Imagine him saying he's like 13. 
<laughs> no, crazy thing. One of my friends, he has a, I'll say his actual full name because it's really funny. His name is Chris Brown. Like, it, it, <laughs> kid was, kid passed my height when they were in the sixth grade or seventh grade. Wow. So back then I was probably around like six one or so. The, according to him, he's like six five right now, and they're in. Are they sophomores so now? How old were you? Freshmen in high school. Yeah. <laughs> how old were you when you passed the six foot mark? Like twelve. I was fifteen. <laughs> I probably was around the same age when I hit six foot. <laughs> One seventeen comes back. Y'all still streaming? <laughs> Welcome back, Legion. How's it going? Yes, you said you were coming back uh, like an hour ago or something. That's You're crazy. exactly five minutes away from the three-hour mark. I know. It's crazy, Ben. I got to go to bed. I'm not going to wake up until 10. Luckily, tomorrow's my last day off. I just got back. Yeah, we can. you can leave the stream running and just have AWM entertain the stream while all of us clock out. I'll hope a.m., but then I, I got to go to bed, too. Oh, no, I can't, I can't be doing to school tomorrow, man. I, I'm homeschooled, dumbass. He said he was know. around 15 when he reached six foot. That's kind of. Hmm. Don't you have any Zoom calls, though, uh, AWM? We don't use Zoom, and I only have live class once a week, which is actually tomorrow. Wait, are you in high school or college? Uh, high school. Once a week? My brother well, wakes the, me up every my, day uh, clocking in the homeroom. The way my school system works is that if I keep on pace, I don't actually have mandatory classes, live classes. Uh, uh, cool. So I only have one mandatory live class this month. Uh, Let's see, I'm 15 and 5 8. Uh, well, yeah, that's not, you'll probably reach like the 5 10, 5 11, maybe six foot mark. Because yeah. if you're 5 8 at 15, there's still, I don't think I stopped. Growing taller until I was like eighteen or nineteen. I don't yeah, think I'm. I'm, eight, I'm 15. Yeah, I my brother, my brother, my brother over there just got it, and he's five eight and he's fifteen. So. Wait, well, your brother's fifteen? He sounds like he's like twenty three. No, it's because he just woke up. That's why he sounds like that. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. How are you doing over there? Good. I, I started live streaming with the camera on, not realizing you were in the back. So once they realized you're in the back, I said, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. so he said, yeah, that's fine. Uh, just probably dozing off on the on the stream. Yeah, I think he has to go to bed. Same with me. We'll, we'll end it in uh, two, two minutes and 50-something seconds. I'm already taller than most of my family. Yeah, I'm, I'm taller than everyone in my family. I'm like an inch shorter than my uh, brother-in-law. But when's next stream? Next stream is on Wednesday. Uh, after a full day of work, start at 8 a.m. till 8, 8 a.m. to 8 hours later, whatever that I'm is. I'm probably like the Kevin Hart of white people. I I'd probably just barely pass over five. What? What? How old are you, 12? Uh, no, I'm 16, <laughs> dude. You're what? I'm fucking 16, dude. And that was an exaggeration five? when I said barely pass over five foot, just to make sure that you understand sarcasm. <laughs> Six. Yeah. There should be a, a a change in someone's voice after they uh, reach um, you know a certain height, like you know you're five foot. I'm a squeaker, a squeaker voice or something like that. Like I, I feel like that most of the time because whenever you have like a uh, Shaquille O'Neal, like take his voice for example. He's super deep. I have a cousin that lives in Ohio. He sounds like a, a movie trailer spokesman. <laughs> he sounds so you're saying he sounds like Corpse Husband. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> I have someone from my high school who used to have that kind of voice, and it was kind of. It's kind of annoying because he could never reach like a like people couldn't hear him from far away because his voice literally wouldn't travel. You would hear him like if you were like ten like within ten feet of him, but the, he couldn't like scream because of how deep his voice was. And I never thought that that was a problem, but I guess it is. You better hope and pray he never gets robbed because nobody will ever hear him. On God, help! Help! help. Please help! Yeah, it's exactly what it Help, man. Help. 
help me. God, please. And you'd be like, oh, it's a oh, whisper. It's I'm a being harassed. <laughs> the tallest person in my family is 6'9", not joking. So that probably helped me reach six. Yeah. How tall That's, is your dad? Like, you, you got to have wait, good genes. The tallest person in your family is 6'9". 69. Nice. Let's see. Uh, were they born on 422? Oh, my. That would be perfect. The ta the tallest person in my family is um was six five and uh he ended up being in, in the MLB for a season. <laughs> um, so it's like kind of just like my cousin just kind of pressured us to be <laughs> the greatest. None of them have lived up to him yet. And you just hit the three hour mark, Eric. Congratulations. Woo! Let's see, but when, uh, but when is stream? Oh, I cannot read. But when, but when next stream? I have been on a stream high as of recently. Stream high. I was reading that so much different. <laughs> that hurt my head to read. If he put just put the is between when and next, we would have been fine. <laughs> but you guys struggled like a hell. I knew but exactly when, what he meant. <laughs> but when next stream? I have. Oh, Don't no, make I'm fun just... of him, man. No, I'm not making fun of him. I'm just trying to comprehend this. <laughs> this mind of mine says his dad is 5'9". No, uh, That's some one... cap. And his grandfather is the one who's 6'9". Oh, my God. I love your dad. <laughs> 117 Legion, don't be sorry. It's just my city and most likely Eric's as well. <laughs> I'm tired. So, yeah. But, yeah, it's Wednesday, man. It's Wednesday, my dude. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, Wednesday is when we streams against next. <laughs> streams. I have a far cousin on the Mexico soccer national team. Nice. I wish I knew someone from the women's uh um United States women's soccer team. That would be awesome. Why just that one in particular? Hmm. Women. I wonder why, Andrew. <laughs> I gotta meet me a woman in the national soccer team. That'd be awesome. Wait, you like women? I thought you were gay. My cousin has a Wikipedia page. I'll, I'll, him. I'll send it to y'all after it. <laughs> my my distant cousin Timothy Olfont probably does. My uh, it's really funny. You sit there and you look at my cousin's MLB stats because he was like a filler, and he was like a. Like, just a filler for, like, outs, like, the, what's it called? Outfield. He has a zero point zero zero batting average, zero home runs, and then one runs. So, uh, so he, he definitely did not play. He played in, I think, four to five games, not much. Oh, my God, my uncle. How do they know this much information about him? I'm just seeing my uncle and aunt's names on Wikipedia, like, it's not, and he was born. Born this day in Springfield, Massachusetts. It's fact. Says what high school he went through. That's fact. Um, in high school, he had 12 home runs. <laughs> like I'm like looking. This is very interesting because I didn't even know this existed. Huh. Women that beef up can't get. My cousin's 41. 41. 41. Jesus. Makes me feel. You're 41 year old cousin. See, the thing is, my both my parents are the youngest on each side. So my mom, she has a um, a niece that's like four years younger than her, which means I have which means I have cousins that are 40 years older than me, <laughs> 30 years older than me or more. So uh, I don't have any cousins. I have like <laughs> second cousins, I think. Yeah, that's that's, that's the thing. Most of my Wait, second so cousins are closer your in age to me. Come up to you and are like, "Hi, a champ! How was school today?" It's not yep. more like that. For a while, it was like that, but now I'm kind of more on their level because I'm 20, and they're like, "Oh, I can talk to you," kind of like how I would a normal adult, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, the, it's really funny because it's like um, my cousin, the MLB player, his daughter is like thinks that we're cousins because she's only like eight years like 10 years younger oh how old is she i think she's nine she's like 11 years younger but she just completely assumes we're cousins because we're closer in range than anything but she would have never guessed that 
where the actual me and her, her father are actual cousins because of the, how crazy 21 year difference that's that's well because <laughs> my mom has a sister who's 20 years older than her and that just sounds crazy i'm 16 years older than uh my brother and then i'm uh hold i think i'm 21 years older than my twin sisters Something like that, I think. Wait, how, how old did, are you, Eric? Yeah. How do you what do you mean? You're so wait, you have sisters that are twins? Yeah, my twin sisters. You said that as if you had a twin sister, but somehow she was yeah. 21 years younger than you. My, my sisters are twins. Yeah. Twins. Your two younger twin sisters, yeah. Okay. That's what I said. I, I thought that made sense. <laughs> no, AWM was questioning it too, so I know it didn't sound just a weird. I literally said I'm yeah, twenty-one years older than my two um, <laughs> your twin sisters. I think that something like that. But yeah, but yeah, it was the way you worded it that sounded weird. Mm -hmm. I don't know anymore, but uh, they're about to turn two in March. So that yeah. still sounds crazy that you're you're twenty-one years older than actual siblings. Yeah, I know it's crazy. How old's your Parents, might I ask? Uh, my mother is 54 and my dad is 53. So you're telling me at 52 she just had little girls? No, not her. Oh, so it's step. Yes. Okay, on the other <laughs> side. That makes a lot more sense. I thought you were saying like straight blood twin sisters that are just 21. That's a long time. No. Jeez. My, my stepmom, she's uh, I think 12 years older than me. <laughs> 117 legion this family tree is really complicated oh my. <laughs> he's just trying no all of ours because we're just trying to explain it nobody unless you're just really lucky you don't have a normal family tree your family tree is all sorts of whack yeah unless you were adopted the oh then it's even more out of whack or you're my an orphan because nobody wants you my sister that's uh, 25, she has like a six-year-old son, I think, now. So you yeah. have a nephew? Yeah, I have a nephew, a niece, and another niece. God, I do not know how I'm going to be when I hit that point. I feel I'm just going to be that uncle that gives no hells about everything. Oh, yeah. I don't think I can ever have kids because of the four younger siblings I have right now. <laughs> oh, it, it's crazy. Unless I just have one kid, but I hope that is just a angel child. <laughs> Cause man, it's complicated. Yeah, no, if I if I had kids that ended up like me and my siblings, I think I would be fine. But if I had it like kids that were like anybody <laughs> some of the people I know, I'd be like, damn. You I see, failed. why would you ever pay to have children? Like, why would you pay to support children when you could have five hundred and one five oh first battle packs? That's on God, though. I'm sitting there like, man, kids. You see, that's just Legos. a one time payment. <laughs> Children are forever, you know? You always got to deal with that. They're time consuming. 501 Bible First Battle Packs, one time payment. You don't need to do anything to support it. It's good. It's there. It's always there. It I never changes. It never backtalks you. It never shits his pants. It's less work. Exactly. I think. Yeah, children are so much uh, more expensive than that because, like, if you make the calculation, see, my oldest sister is like twenty nine years old, and if my dad made like eighty thousand a year, let's see how much that would be for just one kid. This mind of mine says my pet cat is a demon spawn, so my children will <laughs> look like compared to her. Um, you compare your it's, children it's to cats. It's very interesting that you were comparing human children to a what I assume is a full-grown cat. Mm -hmm. Demon spawn. <laughs> yeah, a cat compared to a child is so much different. See, I have I have an ex who already had a kid with someone else, and I'm sitting there just like, man, you are not prepared. That baby's gonna have a terrible life. I'm like, damn, like, mm. ugh. I could never imagine at my age having a kid. Yeah. I, I can't see. I want to do what my parents did. My dad was 34 when he had me the first kid. So I think that sounds like a good age for me. You know, being 34. 
living 34 years of my life without hey, children. Hey, Andrew, I have a question. How old were you when you realized that you had Heaven's Door at your gateway? Heaven's Door? Oh, the door. Your how old was I? Actually, I could pinpoint this down. It was 2016 because it first happened when I was... <laughs> Um, because it, it was just second nature to me. I'd walk through the door, squeak, squeak, you know, we were good. Um, <laughs> but uh, one day when I'm playing Xbox and people are walking in and out of the room and they're like, what the hell is that noise? Because the Xbox microphone would pick it up way louder than I would hear it. So then everyone would be like, hype it up and they'd be like, oh, the well, moment we head to your house, we open in your door. And then they did, and they were like in awe because they're like, this thing is way too loud. And every time that door opened from that point, everyone's like, that door go crazy. One of them did. And he's like, I don't see anything wrong with this door, and that's why I'm very, very of confused. Of course there's nothing wrong with it. We need to find what's wrong with other doors and why they don't sound like that. I think you'll be very interested for me to say one friend actually brought over a can of WD-40 one day and we had to talk him out of it. If we didn't talk him out of it that day, this door could possibly not be a thing in our lives right now. I'm assuming you cut that friend out of your life, right? Oh, no. I go bowling with him every Tuesday. <laughs> cut him out of your life forever. <laughs> Bowl of 300, and he, he won't talk to you ever again tomorrow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> or throw a bowling ball at him. <laughs> Just throw it on his leg. Oh, my bad, sir. I'm sorry. Flip backwards as That's I go to, like, reel back. It just goes into the stands. <laughs> want to put some WD-40 on that injury, sir? <laughs> Let's see. I forgot which university did the research, but the average cost to raise a child up until they're 18 is $1 million. Man. My dad. I didn't think that's 800. up until 18. Imagine people like BFAB's parents who are supporting him at like, what, 23? Oh, yeah. I'm God. I'm 20 in my parents' house still. No, nah, he, he's 21. Yeah, he's about to turn 22. Mom, Man, can I get money for vegan pizza? <laughs> I found that so funny when he's like, I'm going to go harass my mom for money. I'm like, bro, you're a grown ass man. <laughs> yeah. But food. I can't really. He, uh, he really needs to go and try to target the people near him. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna look it up right quick. You said I'm getting this man a job, a J O B job. Uh, this one, mine, I wouldn't be surprised if that didn't include college payments. And I cannot spell Minneapolis. It's such a weird name. There it is. Um, all right, zip code. I'm looking for the zip code. What are you doing, Eric? Trying to find the zip code of Minneapolis. Hmm. Um, what for? I can plug that into um, a theme digger. You're welcome. I heard the door. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, my brother walked in, walked out the door, so I'll probably come back in before the stream ends. Uh, yeah, I'm taking the zip code to um, help him get a job at uh, Target. Distribution center. There it is. Mall of America. Put the point there so we can grab zip code. Come on, give me an address. I want the zip code. No. <laughs> the description of Mall of America is huge shopping complex with a theme park. Five, five, four, two, five. I mean, would you consider that to be wrong? Uh, I liked Snoopy World. Nickelodeon that they have now sucks. Uh, unless they have decent rides, but I don't know. Uh, target careers. One random question that just hit me randomly. Do you guys ever regret your addiction to Lego? No. Oh, every day. Not at all. It's, I, I just wonder where I would be without it. Because I feel I would be nowhere near as creative. Or like... I, it, I feel it's it helped me out to, so many to feel like you wish that you didn't like something, but you can't help it? No, I don't think so. Because I sit there and I realize, damn... Like, I look at my bank account and go, fuck, bro. 
I made so I, I much don't... money, but like so much of that went to Lego. But then I sit there and I look around my room and all the cool shit I have, and I'm just like, nah. Yeah. But for a second there, you. it's the numbers. When you see the numbers of how much you actually spend, you're like, shit. Well, but then you see what me, you got from what you spent, and you're like, kind of. I, I, I know it. I'm a lot younger than you guys, so it probably will come off as an insult. And I don't mean it this way. But for me, I think about my age. I'm 16 years old, and I still collect plastic building blocks. Like oh, that, yeah. me, that oh, almost seems well, embarrassing. Like when I go into the Lego <laughs> section at my Target and I see these five year olds oh, picking up the same set that I just grabbed. Don't get it twisted. Walking into a tar a Walmart alone just to walk down the aisle and see if there's any clearances while the little kids are with their parents picking out the sets they want. It's very like you kinda have to sit there. I do you know how a dude when the five oh first sets came out of my local target you know how embarrassed I was to sit there and ask the guy who was the one who was unpacking all of it? Can you look for this specific one for me? As he <laughs> I mean, stuck through I, the I Lego collect, boxes uh, to grab? I collect quite a bit more than one. Well, I wouldn't say quite a bit more, but a few other things besides Lego. And I'm I'm completely content with supporting that collection. But when it comes to Lego, I always feel awkward picking up a Lego set that's like made for small children. That is true, because I for for me it's more of I have a few few things in life I care about so much. It's like mostly it's a lot of media, so I don't. The only thing I really collect is Lego, and then I would say like other things that I purchase. I purchase a lot of video games, a lot of things on my Xbox, and a lot of That's things. That's one thing I, I'm thankful for. I never got into video games, and I never plan to. Because Honestly, at least with my Lego collection, I can always resell it and get what I paid for, if not that more. That is true. With video that games, very... they only depreciate in value. That's the one thing, my friend. He because I bought him like one, a couple sets in the past or whatever for like birthday presents or something. And he's like sat there and he's like, "Dude, some of these sets, like you, they're like." He's like, "Oh, I bought this one set back in the past for fifteen dollars. Why is it like twenty eight now?" And I'm just like. That's just how Lego works. Most Lego does not depreciate in value, even if it's used, unless it's on a rare occasion where they're just sets that people don't like. Well, an uh, another thing about Lego is like, if you go to collect a Hot Toys figure or something like that, for example, it being used is a huge factor in the payment because those figures will, do, like, they start to disintegrate and things like uh, that. Lego really doesn't change even if it's, some little kid throws it at the wall. Yeah, it takes like it's, third, it, yeah, it's, 10 it's years quality. for shit to start deteriorating, even the paint. Like, I still have some figures from like 2006, 2007 that are really high quality. Like, the paint's still perfect. The only like, figures I think I have that look nothing like they did when I first got them are some of the snake figures from Ninjago 2012. The, the white tooth printing on some of them is just like uh, almost completely gone. Yeah. But then uh, Lego see, introduced I... dual molding, which completely fixed that problem. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's true. My biggest problem that I had is back when I first started Lego, some of my 2005, 2006, 2007, like the early, early stuff, uh, I used to bite the Legos to take them apart. So I'll consistently look through the collection. I'll find something with bite marks. I, I was a victim of that. I used to do that a lot. And then a few years ago, about like two years ago, I sorted through all of my good pieces and all my chewed up pieces, and I threw them in a yard sale bin, and I sold them at a yard sale. Not a bad idea, but it's like I sit there and look through it, and I'm just like, the my biggest regret that's broken, I completely decimated as a kid a Commander Fox Phase 1 helmet. I sit there and look at how expensive that damn figure is, and I'm just like, oh, my God. I can't even get a replacement. I can't even get a replacement. <laughs> can you, I don't and you know that there's at least one person out there that did this? Someone who destroyed a minifigure like Davy Jones, who goes for like $100 on Bitcoin. Oh, I bet. I bet. Imagine being that guy. Imagine being being someone who gives their who like just bought like the minifig packages for their kid. I bet you there's a there's a Mr. Gold out there with teeth marks in it. I mean, didn't Beefhead put a Mr. Gold in his mouth? Did he? 
I don't know. I don't I'm pretty think so. sure. No, he said he did on a live stream. That's crazy. <laughs> no, there's a BFAB's biggest fan video about it. He, they made a video about it, like the him saying it on the live stream. He admitted it publicly. That's crazy. He also he made, talk he to scratch him. the back of a Mr. Gold minifigure as well. Probably the one that's, uh, you know, already damaged. Yeah. He probably did that for that. So we all, we already know that there's at least one Mr. Gold minifigure out there that's damaged. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. he purchased it for pretty cheap. And imagine, like, if there is that one kid that got a Mr. Gold and played with it or whatever and threw it into a bin of a bunch of other pieces. Yeah, that's bound to have happened. Because I even have figures like that. I have, a, like, one of the silver Stormtroopers that ended up in a bin. And it's sitting right here. And I'm seeing the paint chipped from the feet. I have, like, you can see, because it's all glimmery and silvery. Maybe I'll turn on the camera. Maybe it was, maybe it's very. It's and very... imagine though, like, oh wait, oh that's shiny. Uh, where did you, you can expect? What do you mean? Where did I get it? Like how you did can you see acquire the that figure? Um, spend buy a set at Target or at Toys R Us, and you get one. It was like one weekend thing, but you really? can see the you can see the paint chipped on the the foot. You can see that it's not like a clean, like it's all scraped and shit on the chest plate and yeah. stuff. The good thing is, I have two more sealed. Nice. I have two more sealed in the other room. But it's just like, the one that's opened is in shit condition. <laughs> like, not well, good. I'm pretty sure that um, Michael MGF took some of the arms on those figures for custom figures. So there's already, like, you're not the only person that's ruined those. Oh. He ruined one intentionally. Hmm. Well, it's because I remember as a kid, I used to take off the, the legs because especially I found it so weird that the whole leg instead of just like, because normally with the silver, as you can see with the leg and stuff, it was like painted weird. But yeah. it was like, especially with the, I, I used to like throw it and be like silver pants guy, you know, like I used to do that as a kid. And now I realize I'm just like, damn, if I did, wasn't so rough to this figure, it would be a very, very nice thing. And I don't want to open up one of my other ones. Because then again, Even those things opening have been in one boxes. of the other ones could depreciate the value significantly. Exactly, because I think sealed in the poly bag, they're like ninety or something, and I got them for free with buying the. I bought back in the day. I bought a one of the battle packs of the time, the the Wampa Cave. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it's called, and um, the Turbo Tank. And now I realize, I'm like, man, if I didn't buy that turbo tank and instead bought other smaller sets, I'd even have more of those figures because they gave you one per purchase. So it's like I, I could have sat there that weekend and just bought 10 battle did, packs. Did you have to gotten. go through the register each purchase or was it just like every <laughs> single item you got, you got it one? It was every, every individual item. So I remember going to the store that day because it was actually the weekend of my birthday. So I had my birthday party the day before, and we went, like, the 21st of August. I bet you you can find it. It was something in Toys R Us. It was like, oh, if you go this weekend. And, man, they, and then the thing was, you could have also bought them for, like, four bucks or three bucks, and I didn't do that. You could buy the poly bag for three or four bucks, and I'm like, man, I should have just told my mom, buy me a bunch of these. Because now you see the price, and you're just like, I knew these would go up in price, and I knew that's why I wanted three of them. Kind of on this topic of wishing you could go back and buy certain things, what is a set that you didn't purchase but now look back on wishing you did? I remember back in the day, it was kind of the option. I had the, the get me the, the 2008, um, the 2008, uh, you can get the Death Star or the UCS Millennium Falcon. And kid me was just like man i want that that death star it's got the 24 figures and stuff man imagine for, getting that that falcon <laughs> for me it would be because I'm, I'm a very big fan of the dark knight trilogy i would want the ucs tumbler or the mm -hmm. black pearl the black pearl is one because i remember getting some um some what's it called uh some of the Pirates of the Caribbean sets, I have like two or three of them, but I never got the big one, even though I totally could have at the time. 
I, I own I just, the Black Pearl, but it doesn't have any of the figures, and it's missing a few sales. But I, mm, it would be nice to own one that was complete. That's probably like 300 400 bucks. Yeah. Legion scam Toys R Us is what he's saying. How do you scam Toys Said mine is the original back cave from 2008 that says one of my holy grail sets. Want to add it to my collection as well, dude? Yeah, the 2008 Batman sets, man. Dude, I regret get not getting any of them. The fucked I, up thing I is. Remember, uh, with, wait, yeah. no, you, you, yeah, you go ahead. When I was a kid, I had a friend who had a lot of the Batman sets from the time. And one day when I was hanging out at Cells, he goes, "The only time we ever build Legos is when you're here, so just take the figures." So I got like I got a decent portion of them, but it wasn't it wasn't like anything that'd be like this is amazing because it was like, but it was still like seven figures, seven eight figures, but yeah. it was like man, imagine actually getting those sets during their prime because those are some of the most I would say like sought after sets those two thousand eight Batman because no one bought them, but they're amazing sets. Yeah, that's cool. I remember, I think it was, like, uh, when did the, the big Arkham Asylum set come out? Like, the 2010s one? I know which one you're talking about, yeah. I remember looking at the Lego catalog at that set and dreaming about owning it. I never got it, but it, it, that was one of my favorite sets of that time. Were you six when that came out then? 2010, right? I, it wasn't 2010. I th believe it was like probably 20... like 2012, 2013. Yeah, 2013. No, I thought it was after that. This is my mind says. Are you talking about the one like with Harley Quinn as like Dr. Quinzel? Yeah, it was that one. Yeah, I think that's 2013 because I remember that because that was before I took my initial leave of Lego, which was like 2013. Man, I was 15 back then. Holy cow. Yeah, it's <sighs> just. You look back at it and it's like, damn. No, it's one of the ones I always looked at that I wanted. Getting the freaking original line of the modular buildings with the movie theater and the oh, those yeah, ones that now go for my... thousands. I remember looking at those and being like, they're a hundred bucks. That's a lot. Nowadays, if I was looking at it, being at my age, I, I would have bought every one of them. Yeah. And now I'm sitting there realizing, I wish I was my age back like 15 years ago because then I would have had the money and bought all the sets that now are completely out of reach. Yeah, I definitely would have bought the Green Grocer Cafe Corner and that one that just is very surprising that's like a thousand bucks. But um, it's I think it's a bluish one. I, I forget what it's called, though. Mm -hmm. but yeah. Ah, man. I never really cared too much for many of the modulars, but Palace Cinema is one that I'd like to own someday just because I'm a big movie guru. That's the one I wanted the most too. I always liked the movie theater one. Yeah. I the interior ever always it. looked a little bit plain to me, but that the exterior, like the sign especially, that mm -hmm. looked really cool. And that was like, was that the one that was a corner? Yep, Palace and yeah, That's like the corner. only one that's like been a corner, right? No, Cafe Corner, Green Grocer. Oh, they've actually had other corner sets. And uh, uh, the corner new garage. Corner garage. Okay. But at the time, that was the only corner. And I remember like thinking, oh, I want to put that on the side and let every other modular building build across. Pal Cinema came after Cafe Corner Green Grocer. But I remember looking at the catalog and all three of them were sitting in there. Oh, yeah. So at the time, uh, for that one, Pal Cinema. Cafe Corner, I think, was like the, uh, the original, the very first one. Am I the only one that thinks that modulars are kind of running out of ideas? Probably. Much, well, man. they could definitely do some more. Like, they need just... How hard is it to just do a normal apartment complex? It's not I feel... Bad. Have they made one? Uh, well, I think the Brick Bank might have one, and that's another corner one, Brick Bank one. Yeah. That, have they uh, done just a hotel? Like, that's... Cafe Corner was like a hotel, for sure. But I that one did not have an interior at all. So they had that. And uh, they had apartments, yeah. I think, um, I forget what the name was, but uh, there was like two of them side to side. It's like reddish orange or something. Hmm. 
but yeah, they had that. And then I'm pretty sure the pet shop um, right next to it had like a half uh, apartment uh, townhouse type of deal, but not like uh, not no detail for hotels or like like that. Pretty much. And it says you wish you got the 2013 gunship. I'm wishing I got the one of the sets. There's a lot of the Star Wars sets from that era that like I was like, damn. Like, I wish I got those sets that during that 2013 to 2017 or 18 when I stopped started buying Legos again. That five year period had some amazing sets that I just missed out on. And one of the ones I went back and actually purchased was the Jabba's Palace with the Rancor pit. Because I personally think that's some one of my one of my favorite sets because it's one of the only Star Wars sets that combos. And it's built in the other room. And then the original Mos Eisley Cantina from like 2014. Or not the original because it was like the 2001 one. But that 2014 one was really nice. I bought that one. I got that one sealed for like 90 bucks, which was not bad for like a year ago. But I feel it's probably more expensive now because people are like more interested because now there's the another one but like i look back at that era and i'm just like damn they had a nice gunship they had a nicer atte they had a night they had another turbo tank i would have all bought those if i was still into lego star wars especially the one i sat there and spent a hundred dollars on a captain rex phase two <laughs> so it's like the fact that i missed out on a 30 dollar set that had him that's rough yeah. So I would I would have bought that at the time. Had the commando droids the speeder bike, that would have been a dope set. But now it's like you sit there and look at the price and you're just like, what the hell? And then especially some of the battle packs, like the Republic one, I would have bought in all the old Republic sets if that wasn't if I wasn't um in the day, because the old Republic stuff started coming out once I stopped. Because now it's like I want to buy that stuff. And the only reason I got a Malgus is because I got them really cheap. I got a Darth Malgus, which I still spent like 15 bucks on and when I could have bought it in a $50 set with two of his troopers and his shuttle, that would have been dope or ship. There's, <clears throat> it's very rough because especially with star Wars, I sit there just like, Oh, Oh, another thing is back in the day, I regret not buying a golden C3 PO because they were oh, like, yeah. they were like uh, only like maximum $120 back when I stopped originally i'm like man buying a c3po for 90 dollars that's crazy talk imagine buying one of those then because now they're like 600 700 right maybe i, I don't know i haven't looked up the price in a while because that's one of those figures that that and a chrome darth vader are some of the ones i want to get in my collection before i die because yeah, those i had like three of the chrome darth vaders i think it's been 130 for them honestly you know what with the tax returns i'm getting a chrome vader i remember going to stores and trying to weigh out with my hands which battle pack would have which one has it weighs heavier because maybe the one that weighs heavier in my hands with placebo effect would have the vader in it yeah <laughs> god i think i tried that well, too I, but I like man, no luck with these things <laughs> can't tell but that was awesome. Like one of the first amazing battle packs that they ever sold, even without how having the uh, Vaders in there, that made it so much better. But those should have been one of the top sellers of all time. Who that? AWM, you okay? Oh, he gone. I bought the speeder a while, uh, a while shoe before he was expensive, but I got the speeder. No figs. Wow, shoe. I don't know what set that is. Alrighty, it is 12 a.m. now. I just sorted this real quick because I needed these parts. Uh, but I am all alone now, so. I will end off the stream. Thank you all so much for coming. I really appreciate it. We will be live on. Back not shoe. Uh, a while back, gotcha. No problem. And we will be live tomorrow, pretty much, uh, Wednesday. So thank you all so much for coming. Really appreciate it. Thank you for my guests coming in today. We had Esta, BFAB, Jeff, uh, Andrew, AWM. I think it was, yeah, it was those five. And thank you for coming and chatting with me for this long three and a half hour stream. Uh, definitely on Wednesday, it's probably just going to be two hours. But uh, thanks for coming and have a good night.